everybody. Happy time of day that it is right now. And welcome to Three Flings, uh, the only show on Twitch ever that happens. There are no other shows. Three Flings began as a collection of one shots from the Any Award winning Uncaged Anthology. And now we are playing one shots from the multiple Any Award winning Uncaged Goddesses. If this is your first episode or you're over a hundred, welcome. Have a seat. We have very little continuity. Today, we are playing When Luck Runs Out by Jackie Young. It has a couple content warnings. Uh, tonight's adventure is going to feature gambling and an incredibly brief um, description of imprisonment. So if either of those are things that you don't want to deal with, uh, feel free to duck out. And we have lots of other adventures. And also, we would just look forward to seeing you next week. If for some reason you can't hear me, uh, OBS uh, updated. And I'm still having a struggle. So let me know <laughs> if there's anything going wrong tonight. Because I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, with all of that out of the way, uh, let's meet our teeths. Starting with uh, hey Zan, Welcome back. Tell us about your teeth. Hello, I'm back. I'm playing Shy, our resident knowledge cleric tiefling, who knows everything about everything and likes to throw the book at her enemies, including her little um, bookworm companion, Mysterious. She also has other pets, but let's keep this short. <laughs> uh, Gwen, tell us about your teeth. Playing Adara, our resident fighty bitey tiefling. She has no magic, but she won't let that stop her from starting trouble with her ward puppy crouton. And lastly, but never leastly, especially not in our hearts, Ink, tell us about your teeth. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ink. You can find me in the chat as at these dead pens, like uh, like usual. And I am playing Ophelia, your magical girl packed of the tome, uh, sorceress of shadows, Ophelia, with a little baby frog named Fred, a uh, phoenix flower bloom, and a current be uh, bear cub from last. Oh, yeah. Did uh... you name it? I didn't fully decide, and I'm just like, no, this is why I also can't have kids, because I'm going to be like, okay, your name is different now. <laughs> uh, well, who wants to give us a uh, previously on Three Flings? You played an adventure uh, called Mama Bear Takes a Holiday by this total douchebag. Wow. No, no self-hatred here. Um, it, was it was part, part two. two. Yeah. So where'd that open up? Uh, uh, that opened up after we had finished, I believe, the puzzle of Kate, the puzzle in the cave, where we had to pick which direction to go. And mm -hmm. we came across Luthic with her whole majesty sitting with her boyfriend, didn't we? Yep. Oh uh, yeah, we met, some, we met some night hags. I think it's it was like when we uh, showed up in um, Root Hold. Uh, met, some, met some night hags, went through some tunnels, uh, we were like, gravity just takes you, pulls you in the direction you want to go, and we were like, okay, we want to go to Luthic, uh, and then showed up at Luthic, uh, had a nice little heart-to-heart, -heart being like, you gotta go back to work, uh, <laughs> people are dying, uh, and she kind of went, uh, fine, um, after, after some, you know, pleas to, uh, be like, hey, your followers don't have magic anymore. Don't you care about your followers? Also, people are getting sick and dying from the blood rain you caused. Uh, so she agreed to go back to work uh, and then challenged Adara to a spar. And then we sparred and it went fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Victoria and and Ophelia sat there uh, watching the whole thing underneath a nice little umbrella as blood rain came down. Yeah, because it was also blood raining inside. Uh, yep. And then the Luthic very kindly took away our Mark of Grumsh, so we don't have our uh, did not want this Mark of Grumsh, and instead we have a new I didn't ask for this Mark of Luthic. Uh, but at least this one's <laughs> yeah. a, uh, uh, da -da, incorporeal. It, a clause. So, a clause. Yeah, but I was trying to ethereal. Ethereal is the word I wanted. Uh, it's ethereal, so it's not like there's literally just a bleeding eyeball in the middle of our foreheads. Uh, there's like some ethereal claws we can use. Yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, we came back to the material plane, and Ignea, Vittori's girlfriend, was there. And was like, I'm stealing Vittori away, but uh, you two should go on vacation somewhere. I know a cool vacation spot you can go to. And uh, 
Ophelia and Adara went, uh, sick, and then <laughs> headed out to go on vacation because they deserve it. They deserve a nice vacation. <laughs> Nothing Are they going to yep. get one? Probably not. I was going to say, no. and nothing bad will happen ever. Mm-hmm. No, no. That is totally worth a point of inspiration. Uh, if you are new here, anybody uh, anybody can use that point of inspiration uh, with, uh, you know, consent of the rest of the cast. Also, you here watching the stream can use channel points to give anyone who is playing or anyone who is DMing. Uh, nat 20 or nat 1 or you can make us do silly things like take a short rest or wear a hat so without further ado let's get started shy it has been a hot minute since we saw you I assume your friends told you they were going on vacation but what have you been up to oh well um Shy had to do um, several favors for members of her book club for being gone for a lot longer than she was expecting last time. Fair. But what she explained about Brooks jumping into the spider web portal and several other things that happened, they understood. And um, Shy just maybe had to hunt down some really rare volumes in order to make it up to them. So I think that's what she's doing now, is is that she's um, picking up an order of rare books that uh, could not travel all the way to the... I, I call it the book club, but they're slowly starting their own university and kind of like taking on advanced students. So Shy's kind of uh, worksheeting a plan for something bigger later. All right. I'm going to say you have heard that um, there is a former temple to Tamora in what is now an incredibly popular tourist destination in the town of Forsa which also has uh you know what i'm gonna tell you there's this uh temple to tomorrow and this uh yeah it's now a very popular beach attraction tourist location shy Ooh. both loves and hates that idea um <laughs> It, it's like, for, for one thing, it's a piece of history, and it's great that people are coming to see it. For another, how touristy is this tourist trap? Is this something that's going to be extremely cringeworthy? Well, the Three Flinks haven't been to Fantasy Florida yet. Oh, Is this here we Florida? Go. Are we going to see a oh Florida man? <laughs> All right. Sh yes. we, we have to see this in person. Um <laughs> It's it's going to be either the best or the worst, but the worst that is the best thing ever. You know you know how that is. Yeah, uh, it's going I to be a story to tell either way. <laughs> oh, I was gonna I just... make a beach resort music playlist, and I totally just whiffed it. So now we don't have one. Anyway, <laughs> how big are the alligators? Circus playlist, huh? Circus yes. playlist. They can, they can dinosaur big. The alligators are dinosaurs. Oh my god. What, you said, Quinn said circus playlist, and I was reminded the other day of something I said, which is every day is a day at the circus if you're constantly clowning on yourself. Ha! <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so, uh. Dara and Ophelia. Yes. I'm going to say you also would have heard of this as like a really great spot to go, um, to, you know, go swimming, go gambling, go relax, chill place. Who is this in, uh, who is the, this area in service to again? Because you said it was like a, like an older site. Who is it in ritual to? Uh, Tamora. Tamora. Uh, does, does Tamora sound familiar in terms of, like, historical or religious context? Please give me a religion check. 
Sick, yay. Oh, can I do that as well? Yeah, I mean, you I'm can. kind of assuming Shy knows about this, but. Shy knows Shy's everything. Like... Shy does. Oh, know nice. Everything. Okay, I got a 26. Dang. Okay. Oh, this is religion. Uh, that'll be a dirty 20. Okay. Yay. Rolled so, fairly low. Okay. <laughs> Both of you know that Tamora is also known as Lady Luck, uh, mm -hmm. the goddess of good fortune. And with the other incredibly high roles, you know that she's the second incarnation of the goddess of luck. Her mother, Taiki, was split into two goddesses, Tamora and Bashaba. Ooh, interesting. Uh, Ooh. What? Yeah, I was about so to say, who's Bashaba? I was going to say, yeah, what's the deal with Bashaba then? Is she like the. Uh, Remember like one good luck and one thing? bad luck? It's like that. What did it, you it's say? It's not like that. It is exactly <laughs> like that. It is absolutely not like that. How dare you? What? I'm missing something. <laughs> what? Uh, so Tamora, also known as uh, Luck Be a Lady Tonight, uh, mm -hmm. Bashava is known as Black Bess, Lady Doom, and the Maid of Misfortune. And that, okay, she's that's what I dead? No, she's not dead. Taiki's dead. Sorry. Um, but yeah, she's she's the goddess of trickery, whereas her sister Tamora is, you know, the goddess of good fortune. Yeah, misfortune okay, so and uh, good fortune are the two. Okay, so are they okay. sisters or like mother and daughter? Because you said mother and you've also said sister. Uh, there was Taiki, who then mm -hmm. split into sisters. So they could be... Okay, so they're sisters. It's kind of like a family. You okay, know, like when it's your like... mom divides into two children. Yeah, mitosis. Yeah. It's... Is it... So, so technically you could call them sisters, but also technically not really. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, officially, there, they're sisters, but also, though, you there, know, gods are weird. They're sisters in the same way that, like, Codes and Way are sisters, and Milk is the original. Yeah. yeah. It was such a weird way to explain that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say, uh, you all get off of your boat. Uh, and I will put on some fun island music for you. Uh, there we when go. You said, when you said Lady Doom, it just sounded like a Pacific Rim. Like a Pacific Rim uh, mech name. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I fully believe that that's like a Marvel or DC character. Oh, definitely. Because there's Doctor Doom. I would not be surprised if they're like, here it is. It's her, but with boob armor. You get, uh, it is a sunny afternoon, and you arrive at the docks of the island of Forsa. You are immediately met with a gorgeous glimmer of white sands and sun-drenched waves. A throng of tourists, sailors, and dock workers mill about the busy pier, and a salt breeze rustles your hair. You catch fragments of excited conversation from your fellow travelers and see stretching up over the island a massive temple of ivory and filigree, the Marble Shores Casino. And that is when you uh, meet up with each other. Shit, here we go again. Oh shit, <laughs> yep. Hey Shy, are you here for vacation too? Um, not especially, but I guess so. This was certainly something I had to see, but I'm more interested in the temple, which I, I, I bet Idara just completely did not read up on the brochure. <laughs> I mean, is it a fun temple? Like, some some gods have fun activities uh, in their temples. I've heard of one, uh, like, really far away that's just drinking and shit. That sounds great. I'm not sure. I hear that this is a pos uh, popular tourist destination, though, so it could very well be a fun temple. That could be yeah. anything. Tourists will see anything. You know what? That's extremely fair. We're mainly here because uh, Vittori's girlfriend was like, I would like time with my girlfriend. So, yeah, did me. you fucking Bye -bye. know Vittori has a girlfriend and ditched us for her girlfriend? Uh, Wait, didn't Vittori tell Shy? Yes, because Shy... Shy knew. Yeah, it's like... That's some bullshit. Oh. <laughs> uh... Alright, so uh, as you're talking... Well, fuck Vittori, we're here now. 
Uh, <laughs> off in the distance, you notice um, a dwarf with a beard full of flowers and a flower crown and a pineapple pattern t-shirt uh, calling you over and there's a mass of folks getting off the boat following them. And, oh, I love them all. Uh, the dwarf who is wearing a name tag that says Brazd, uh you overhear her going, Casino's open 24 hours a day. Even if you don't want to gamble, it's a big part of Forrest's history. For our great founder, Mr. Thistlemane built this resort. It was the only structure on the island. It's believed to have once been a temple to the goddess Tambora. So if you are a betting bunch, know that luck is on your side. There is also plenty to do in the town of Thistle's Point. Why not buy some woven hats or seaweed on a stick? Maybe stay the night at the sparkling Turnbuckle Inn. From there, it is but a short walk to the beach where we are hosting our annual sandcastle building competition. Enjoy the cool waves and sandy shores and thank you again for visiting Forsa, where fortune awaits you. And then she love just that. and walks away. <laughs> That's so great. I love that I was, I was, so much. Yeah. That seems about right. Shy is just going to kind of like shy, uh, sigh and just um, look around and just go in a different direction than all the tourists are going. Just, just kind of like find a place that isn't, that's more authentic. <laughs> I or, go... or, is, or is this just the whole island? Looking around, you see that the main thing on this section of the island is the temple. Although uh, it's clearly an ancient temple, but slapped over it is uh, sparkling lights that say uh, Thistle Main or Marble Shores Casino and uh, a light up roulette wheel spinning around it as well as a flipping coin where it's heads on both sides. Ooh, interesting. All right, the first thing you do, you find the bar because they're gonna have some shitty uh, like souvenir cup that's gonna be like 30 gold. But then when you buy it, you get unlimited refills. So you get that at the start of the trip and then you get max refills for the time that you're here. So that's the very first thing we have to do before anything else. Uh, then you can fucking do whatever you're, uh, whatever the hell you want. Uh, but first we have to find the souvenir cups. I like to imagine that they're magic and you don't actually have to go up to get refills. They just refill magically. You just hold the Sigh. cup. Like, Chai is just <laughs> sighing <laughs> mournfully at this structure. <laughs> <laughs> it probably Poor has Shai. some kind of carving carving of, like, Tamora on it, um, and it's gonna be kind of insulting. Yes. I mean, I'm trying Warning to think you of the best... Warning you up front? Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to, like, describe what this feels like, because this used to be a temple area, and I'm like, is this kind of like if they turned the Vatican into a casino? Yes. Oh my... <laughs> So I've literally been to an Urban Outfitters in Cincinnati that used to be a church, and they were uh -huh. they were had a baptismal font that was full of uh, discount throw pillows, and outside they had a chapel that was a cold stone. <laughs> so this is this is Shy's worst nightmare. Can I just Amazing. say that really speaks to the energy, like the weird energy of Urban Outfitters, that they would somehow gentrify a church, right? <laughs> Yeah, it was Urban Outfitters I, and a Cold Stone in a church and a chapel. <laughs> so I we're love describing that. this as like a temple that got taken over by tourism, but like this is a, a fate goddess, right? So yeah. like did it get I'm gonna ask Shy, I guess, did this get taken over by a casino or is that like part of the worship? Because it seems more thematic than You, you know, know, I think Shy's gonna been. look around and try and make a judgment on that. Do you did you go inside? Uh you know, yeah, you know we'll what? We're, we're, uh, Adara is looking for the souvenir stand, so I'm thinking that we're going inside. Okay. Yeah. I'm with uh, Shy on this one. I'm just like, I don't understand why. I'm just following Adara right now until I can maybe find some section of this temple that has mm -hmm. not been 
corrupted by capitalism. I'm just imagining Shy was like, I'd really like to go to a, a French castle and you take her to Euro Disney. Yes. Oh my god. Disneyland yeah, Terrace. Hey, Euro Disney. Yeah, no, we take her to Disney World and we're just like, here's the French section. <laughs> yeah, we take her to the fuck it we take it for the fucking Epcot. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like just take uh take Shy around the world in, in and it's like, but now you get to see all the world in one day, and yeah. it's just like, that's not what this is. I mean, uh, it kind of uh, is. Yeah. It's exactly what it is. And they've got a bar per world. <laughs> not in the Middle East. But yes, you can't drink in Persia. I've gone drinking at Epcot a lot. Anyway, <laughs> inside, uh, it's lavished with banners. There are mage lights everywhere. There are floating streamers. The casino is alive with the sound of shuffling cards, rolling dice, spinning roulette wheels, and laughter and drinks being poured. There are hundreds of patrons crowding the white tiled floors, picking up trays of, or picking off, sorry, trays of complimentary food and drink. And anybody in here can give me a perception check when you walk in. Okay. I would love to. Don't mind if we do. There's also a massive domed ceiling above you. My thought when you said the baptismal font full of throw pillows, I thought of like turning a baptismal fountain into uh, like a like a roulette wheel. And I'm like, could you physically do that? And now I'm thinking way too hard about it. I mean, uh, that's could. 30 for a perception. Uh, that's a 30. Shai is, Shai is desperately looking for things that she wants to see in here. I rolled terribly, so 22. Okay. I got 13, which is my version of rolling well, so thanks. <laughs> okay. So, you all did really well. You notice a very fancy gnomish man being carried on a gilded sedan above the crowd, and examining the ceiling... You also see that on it is, it's quite dark, but there is a mural there depicting three women. One of them with black hair, holding a pentagram in her hands. And then shorter than her is a blonde woman facing to the left and facing to the right is a uh, dark skinned woman, like drow dark skinned woman with uh, white hair. Jess, I, I feel the need to clarify because I can also see this image. It's not that her skin is dark, it's that there's chunks missing from the mural. Thank you. Yeah, that is what it is. I, yeah, I was trying to figure out when you said that, I was like, is it just that the that the thing looks wrong? Oh, you know what? You're just... right. I have always read that image wrong. It's that there are pieces of that part of the image that are missing. Yeah. Okay, uh, so under, uh, based on, like, what Shy and I are aware of, given this location, uh, is this safe to assume that this is, like, the representation of the fact that there is a splitting of the goddesses into, uh, I can't the remember goddess the goddess into two. Yeah, the goddess into two, and then the fact that one of them don't, that a lot of them don't like dealing with Bishaba. <laughs> yeah, and you would also notice that it's weird to see them all together like this. Uh, because the legend is that Taiki was killed by an ancient curse. Tambora and Bashaba sprang from her body and immediately started fighting with each other. Me so too. <laughs> seeing them all pictured like this is not usually how they are. And, and also, considering that this is said to be a temple to the goddess of luck. Having them all together was... Uh, Shai might be able to tell if this was originally supposed to be a temple to all three of them. Maybe. Maybe. It's unclear. It's definitely branded to Tamora now, but this is an odd mural. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to look for other odd things because now this has my attention and I don't, I, I want any sort of distraction to not look at what has been made of this place. And, like, and you just shy. see Adara at the background like, Shy, there's an ornamental cup that's 40 gold. It's like, no, nope. Shy, you have to get your fucking cup. Uh, 
Uh, this mural is her. far more interesting. It's I can't hear you, she's she's shy. And, and insight that Shy would probably have that I don't think Adara would just necessarily care about is like it's weird that they're all physically present at the same time because one god is split into two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like, it it seems odd that a temple could be to all three of them since mm -hmm. uh, they weren't alive at the same yeah, time. Like timeline wise, that, that doesn't match up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, to some extent, I guess for me, it feels um, like it makes sense strictly in the sense that, like, it makes sense that people worship the three different aspects of, like, God and Christianity, even though they're not supposed mm -hmm. to, like, be seen as, like, the same thing or even sometimes coexist, they still are recognized as, like, one big thing. I believe you, I'm not very up to date on my Christian lore. The three in one. The, the, the Christian Lord. <laughs> I spent way too many years I going mean, to Sunday school. I can baptize people. I'm not talk I'm not getting into it. <laughs> That's fair. Ooh. That's not what the stream is for. So, <laughs> so what Shai is looking uh, for other esoteric things. Adara and Ophelia. Um, you see. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say <laughs> what probably appeals to both of you. Um. Ophelia, you see a uh, family-friendly gambling. There's a bunch of folks and their kids who are all um, just tossing gold in a certain area and then rolling dice. And there is a dealer who is basically calling what the bid is. And you see a couple of people who are like, oh, I missed it. And then there's usually one who's like, ha ha. Um, so it's basically betting what the number is going to be rolled. Adara, you notice uh, some animated weapons that are battling and people are betting on which one's gonna win. Oh yeah, I wanna check that out as soon as I get my fucking souvenir cup. There are definitely <laughs> souvenir cups around. There are people walking around with like, what looks like free glasses of champagne and snacks. But I'll say for, Toy silver. You could buy a uh, 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 big crystal all refills mug. Yes, thank you. Go. It's like a six flags <laughs> need, thing. Yeah, I need the the magic item that just refills a beverage uh, the entire time you're here, and then I need that, and I need like a spot on the beach, and then Adara's vacation is set. Or it wouldn't be crystal; it would be silver, because uh, Tamara likes silver. Mm. Here's my question. If you're a tiefling of a natural shade of, like, skin, do you tan? Or, like, how does that work, then? I, I mean, think it just... Everyone. Yeah. I, I think tanning think would add brown undertone to whatever your skin tone is. Or, like, a darker equivalent. That's what I'm wondering. I'm like, do y'all just... Do we all just, like, get... Or go in terms of color of Cause, skin, or is it... Because it's like, if you have a blue undertone, I can't imagine it deepening to either, like, purple, or... more of a navy. Do tieflings have melanin? Or do they have something else because they turn different colors? I will say, probably... they have melanin or firenin? I was gonna say, I would say melanin strictly on the basis of the fact that that's also what determines your eye color, and your eye color is not necessarily always, like, shades of tan. Okay. And I think, uh, if a tiefling is left out in the sun and can tan, uh, they just kind of, you know, look like a, a pale, like, desaturated orange color on a multiplied <laughs> layer over whatever their base color is. Alexis, Alexis is just saying melanin. <laughs> This is what no. this is what we do this for. Thank you, Alexis. We've missed you yeah, being here on the educational show. show. Uh, you've all learned something today, and it's that Alexis is much better at puns than we are. <laughs> and you've learned that Christian lore exists on this show. Welcome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, does anybody want to gamble, or are you just gonna look around and have your drinks? Oh, oh I have some, uh, weapons fighting. Okay. I have a set of weighted dice, and I feel like I want to give them to Adara in case she wants to gamble. To be like, hey, if you want to play craps, here you go. Have fun. I think Thanks. the only game Shy might be interested in if, if there was a trivia game. Ooh, that's fair. Ooh. The only games right now that you see are the uh, bidding on dice, the dice 
the dice bidding and the bidding on weapon fights. Ooh, but that doesn't. If, if say Adara, that those are the only games, they're just the only games you see right now. If Adara fights both weapons, I'm betting on Adara. You're. You don't get to fight. The weapons, right? It's I just the to, weapons. Yeah, fight. I have to you pick have to which weapon I think is going to win. Gonna win. Yeah. Then, Otherwise, nope. I would also bet on myself. <laughs> oh, is this like last time when you tried to fight Luthic like, and you were like, yeah, I, I bet I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> fine. Uh, so just looking at everything uh, in terms of like the area, does it feel like a lot of the actual gambling that's happening in terms of like dice rolling cards and stuff, does that feel like it's genuinely happening or that there's like magic influence in the area give me an arcana check i'm like is this the freaking lotus hotel from the posty jackson series uh that is is an 18. uh this feels like it's definitely happening there's a lot of folks here wearing uh hawaiian print shirts sipping on uh cups with uh some of them silver with umbrellas in them. There's families here. Everybody's having a good time. And so, uh, a way of worshiping Tamora is through gambling. So so there's n- no magical influence then in the games. It's just people playing because it's like a thing to do. Yeah, because people like to gamble. You know what? That's fair. Okay, interesting. Cool. Okay. Uh, what is which weapon is Adara betting on? That's what I have a question. I so I wanted to see if I could like watch them for a while uh, sure. and perhaps use uh, my no enemy fighter feature to try and get a sense of which one is stronger. What a great use of that! That's amazing. I love I that. love that. That's so good. Okay, let's say in here there is. It's like it's what people do when they normally bet on things. It's just Adara is better at it. <laughs> yeah, it's a class feature for some of us. <laughs> yeah, let's say there is a uh, a battle axe, a flail, a great sword, a lance, and a, a trident. All right. Uh, so the weapons that I just uh, invented for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd like to try and get a sense of which one I think is most likely to win. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, so you just spend a minute doing that? Yeah. Cool. Uh. Uh. Alexa said, this is the first time in 5e that know your enemy has been useful. To which Draz also said, I've heard of classism, but this is ridiculous. Uh, so I'll say, it's pretty hard to tell at this point. It does seem like uh, the greatsword is doing the most damage, but the way they've all been animated is so that they are all equally matched. So you Mm. would expect the greatsword to just kind of crush the others, but they're more nimble than the greatsword is. Mm. I'll believe in the greatsword. My my currency of choice. All right. To do a callback to like episode five. (laughs) It is a minimum of a hundred gold to bid on this match. Was anybody else getting in on this? I want to watch this happen. I don't want to yeah, play. I'll, I just want to watch this happen. I'll watch, but you said they're animated, right? Yep. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to keep an eye and make sure that uh, music in here. there's going to be nothing going on with the animation of the weapons as the fight progresses. Okay. Cool. I'm just kind of sitting there just imagining Shy and Ophelia watching this happen and then they're like mumbling back and forth. What if we just like de-animated both all of these and just watched them fall to the gun? I wonder what they would do. <laughs> That's a quick way to get kicked out of the casino. <laughs> yeah. Adara, roll me a d20 for your greatsword. E d20 for my greatsword. Natural one. Okay. 
I'm glad it was not actually you fighting this time. Right? Yeah. I'm just out 100 gold. Your great sword <laughs> is utterly crushed. No! Ooh! Uh, would you like to bid again? There are four weapons. And, and I feel Bashaba and it's chilies tonight. <laughs> um, I guess. What are the other four? A battle axe, a flail, a lance, and a trident. Uh. I'll, I'll believe in the trident. I'll say the great sword is replaced with a rapier. How about that? Or a scimitar. Oh, yeah. I like Fuck that. Hmm. Uh, scimitar. All right. Anyway, it's like I should go for you know a weapon that I use. I have all of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, trident seems fine. Let's go with the trident. Trident. Okay. I mean, you do have a trident fish, fish command. D twenty. Maybe the fish will help you. The fish command. Eleven. So it's like a natural one, but there's two of them. Okay. <laughs> the lance is obliterated. Ha! Ah. Let's roll again. All right. Uh, ooh. Enjoy, everyone <laughs> in our live watching chat. Enjoy. I have made a five-minute bespoke meme so for you badly. Did you get another one? I did. <laughs> you did. Okay, well, I also rolled a one. So I'm going to say the flail wow. and the mm. trident obliterate each other. <laughs> uh. Yeah, fuck that. That means I won. Oh, you got a one? <laughs> No, yeah, I, I got a one. Okay, you got a one. Well, the battle yeah. axe and the scimitar are still here. <laughs> so uh, they win. <laughs> fine. But, you know what? <laughs> you win back half your gold. Because you got third hey. place. Aw, thanks. <laughs> you know, I participated. Uh, <laughs> you see uh, a couple polluted. of notes who were over here to like, Yeah, battle axe! <laughs> Oh my god, fucking battle axes. <laughs> uh, see, arguably, I like this more because it's kind of like dogfighting, but there's there's no actual things getting hurt, it's just metal getting crushed. Yep. I can't believe we got three ones in the four rolls that happened. Hey, you know okay. what? Up hey, at least you're getting it's, them out of the way now. I was gonna say, excuse you, you got four because the eleven is two ones put together. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. So... Shy, while you're looking around, you see a lot of colored lights and ships and things that just are toxic to your senses. Uh -huh. I need to get out of here. And so you overload the adventure. <laughs> so then you, I just say you will even open the door, Shy, and notice that there are dark clouds gathering. And then it starts to rain, and there is lightning and thunder. So, so wait, there's a storm coming in, so I'm trapped in this building of lights and sounds, and... Is, is, is somebody angry with me? Can, can I get a read on that? Yeah, I should be immune immune to uh, bright lights. It's like, did, did I piss? Even? Did I piss off a goddess recently, or right. perhaps my friends? I was gonna say, I like how Shy immediately assumes it's her and not the other goofball gang that fought, that she's with. Yeah, we have done nothing check. wrong ever in our lives. It's like, I mean, the thing is, this isn't affecting you guys as much as it is me. So I assume I'm. That's a natural twenty. I'm assuming that I piss someone off. Okay. I love how we went from, I got a critical failure too. Okay, that's a natural 20, and then continuing to talk as if it's nothing. <laughs> Shy, this doesn't <sighs> seem to be you. This, uh, but there is definitely something unpleasant going on right now. Uh, and in fact, you notice with that natural 20, uh, you feel, because you have felt this before, but never to this magnitude, you feel that you are cursed in a way. And you know that it's not just you, everyone around you is cursed. Oh, that's not good. Suddenly, an earthquake rocks the casino, 
as jagged spikes split through the stone floor. I would like everyone to give me a strength saving throw. Oh, I'm fucking terrible at these. Yeah! Is this a magic effect? <laughs> it's against a literal earthquake, so no. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Alexis! Alexis. <laughs> I'm laughing at the combination of everything in the chat between Alexis saying it's Agma saying gambling is dumb, Agma coming in saying shy, you forgot your souvenir cup, uh, and then Draz saying loading your gun, casino's on. <laughs> the you think I wanted, I need someone to come over here and exercise my dice. I got a natural one. Okay. I have an idea. I, I, I got a 14. Going. Stop using that set. <laughs> I just- it's the Adara ones, though! They would never betray me! Look, they're so pretty! They've betrayed you multiple times already, what do you mean? <laughs> They've, uh, out of the four dice rolls that I've made tonight, one of them has been something other than a one, so... <laughs> I got a six, speaking of which. The fact that Adara has somehow done worse than me is, like, an ego boost, which is immediately counteracted by the fact I'm now flat on my ass. I mean, my totals is sixteen, if that matters. Uh, but it wasn't. Yeah, this one. is this is just mounting, uh, <laughs> mounting evidence that we're cursed right now. You are all knocked prone, and Adara got a one, and Ophelia got a six. Was that correct? That I heard. Yep. Oh, Jazz gave you a crit. Shy, you got a uh, fourteen. <laughs> yep, fourteen. Cool. Draz, that's like such a cute message. When luck runs out, store-bought is fine, nat 24 uh, Thanks, Draz. <laughs> I'm gonna say Ophelia. No, Adara yes. got the one. So Ophelia, I mean, Adara, you are going to take three bludgeoning damage. All right. Oh. Uh, as part of the ceiling falls on your head. Fuck. Right. And universe bonked Adara. And uh Ophelia. Yes. Actually no, and Adara, you uh twist your ankle, so your speed is halved right now. And Ophelia, you also get some of that shrapnel and you take one bludgeoning damage. Oh shit. And okay. you all see that <clears throat> uh this crack splits the stone floor, running all the way up through the section of the mural. Yeah. Tamora and Taiki section start to fall off of the ceiling. The exit of the casino is 100 feet away. The Ooh. ceiling is falling. What I'm guessing we have to get to the exit. That's really interesting. Yeah. I, um, look at the matter crumbling. It's like, I know Let's we roll. have to get to the exit. How is everyone else doing? Everyone is uh, running and screaming. And in fact, you notice there are five patrons stuck under debris calling for help. I, I have to try and help them. I misunderstood what you meant. I thought you meant like warlock patrons. And I'm like, what? Casino patrons. Sorry. That's my first thought. Um, Why don't we roll initiative do just so that we get what everybody's doing? together. Sure. I just rolled for myself. I don't need- I'm a ceiling. I don't need initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish that we could, like, have like how Alexa said, a compilation of every time Gwen's opened the behind the scenes. Like, a compilation of every time Jess has said, like, I'm this inanimate object. I don't need to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Adara, how'd you do? 16. Okay. I rolled above a 10. Mm. Ophelia. Um, I got an 18. Okay. Shy? I got a 14. Sweet. Round one, fight! Ophelia. Uh, okay. Uh, so, noticing that uh, Adara has been bonked on the head, I am immediately going to look over a check to make sure nothing is broken, nothing is bleeding, and then noticing Adara has uh, probably sitting there with like her ankle at a, uh, at a weird angle, I am going to, like, uh, if I can, I will tape it on his ankle. If I can't, uh, then I will, like, look around for Shy. Say so you can give me a medicine check to wrap up yeah. Adara's ankle, get her speed back Thanks. up. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm also, like, it's not gonna go well if the strongest person in our team is also just, like, chilling back there. Uh, that's a 20. Mm -hmm. Dirty 20. Okay, yeah. You have wrapped Adara's ankle. Do you want to use your movement? Uh, yes, because where is Shy? Uh, 
Oh yeah, so I was gonna be. I'll say you were all hundred feet from the door at various points in this casino. But Adara yeah, I was like looking out a window or something because she yeah. saw the storm. Okay. Um, you know what, Shy? You uh, were like kind of at the door, so I'll say you were in and then came in and you saw those people who were hurt. So you were closer yeah. than everybody else to the door. I'll say, Shy, you're like sixty feet away. Why did you think I was gonna take Adara's ankle? <laughs> My God, that's like getting help from Solus and Dragon Age Trespasser. My hand yeah. hurts. And then you see the Inquisitor with no hand. Uh, <laughs> I think Bobby spoiler Clark's alert no for Dragon Age hurt. Trespasser. Uh, okay. Is that all, Ophelia? You heading towards the door? Um, I am going to. Uh, otherwise, I am going to like use some of my movement to stand up and see if I can pull it out to her feet. Otherwise, that is it. Okay. It'll be half your movement to stand. Mm hmm. And yeah, I'll say you can help Adara stand too. Yeah. Uh, but then thanks. you won't be able to move. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. You can pat your ankle back when you prove you're more responsible. Yeah, that's, that's what my joint said. Yeah, you're correct. Adara, <laughs> you are up. Okay, so Ophelia's here. Um, Shy's uh, looking fine. Ophelia and I were the ones who got hit by ceiling. Yep, you got yes. hit by ceiling. All right. Yeah. Um, you just got extra I'm unlucky perceptive. when the ceiling started to fall. Yeah, I'm perceptive enough that I can definitely hear the people calling for help. Uh, so I start, like, I make a motion toward the door and I'm just like, fuck. Uh, is there anyone close by? Uh... I'll say they're between you and Shy. All right. Um, well, time to deal with this shit. Uh, thanks for the ankle tape. Uh, I gotta go jog my way over there because the ceiling's fallen down, so I don't want to be slow about it and then try and free someone. Okay. So are you going to dash to the people? Uh, do I have to dash to reach them? I thought we were all about 100 feet away from the door. You are 100 feet away from the door. What's your move speed? Uh, 30. Okay. Um, I In my head, they were 50 feet away from you. Okay. Uh, oh, so yeah, they're I'll between dash. us and the door. Yeah. I'll dash to get there. Okay, cool. And um, I'll say what's... you can give me an athletics or acrobatics check to get one person. Sure. I'll use a different d20. Athletics will be a 22. Pieces. Okay, yeah, you got him. Cool. Can I action surge and get a second person? Hell yeah, do it. Uh, 16? Yeah. Ooh. Cool. I rolled a 2, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm strong. Alright. Shy, you are up. Adara okay, has saved so... two people, but 40 feet away from you. Okay, um, there are more. I can... Or you can just go the other way and leave. You know I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, um, Shy is going to dash over to another trapped person, okay. and um, with Mistorius' help, try and free them. So Mistorius comes out of their book, uh, grows larger, and uh, helps Shy move debris off of a person sweet uh yeah give me an athletics or acrobatics check or if you want to use like a magic spell or something to do it if you had like mage hand or something yeah shy does not have spells like that okay really um it's like uh, unless shy wants to hurt the people that she's helping it's it's not really gonna do any good <laughs> if you're like here's some earthquake boom <laughs> okay uh that's really good um, it was athletics or acrobatics, right? Yep. But with athletics, that's a uh, dirty 20. Nice. Yeah, I'll say you get a person. Oh. And then it is round two. Ophelia, you're up. More of the ceiling okay. is falling. You are uh, feet the ceiling away from the door. is uh, like falling apart. Love that. Okay. Um, let's see. So, Adara's helping people shy is what did, what did shy choose to do at this point help people okay yeah. that's what i that's what i assumed i just want to check something uh, uh 
I mean, since NPCs are in danger, I could possibly do a mass heal, but um, it didn't look like there were a lot of people that were hurt, just trapped. Yep. Guys, like, that's not my concern. We're doing this later. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Here's a question for you, Jess, because uh, I know we talked about this last time. Have I mended Adara, uh, Adara's weapons back together, and have I mended our armor back together at this point? Ooh, I would say yes, because you had a long time my on the boat. Okay. Yeah, also my armor was fine. It was uh, Ophelia's and Vittoria's armor that got upset. Yeah. Okay. Upset. I hope that's the description. Um, what I am upset going to do is... Upset dragon. <laughs> yeah, very great. Uh, I am going to uh, use my mage hand and, tr- and like while I'm running, I'm going to try to see if I can help uh, them lift some of it okay. with the mage hand, because I can only lift 10 pounds at a time. And otherwise, I am going to run to be uh, closer to my compatriots. So if we get crushed, we get crushed as a group. Aww. All right, so I'll say, yeah, you can dash and use your mage hand and you can get a person. Wow. And then, Adara, you are up. So we got one person left? Yep. Cool, I'll free them. Give me an athletics check. That's another uh, eight, so 22. Sweet, everybody is free, and it is just the three of you who are still in here. All right, uh, that was my action. So for my movement, uh, I'm gonna just gonna scoop up. How's how's the ceiling looking? Falling a lot. Falling. All right, yeah, fuck that. Um, I'm gonna just you know do the the classic maneuver of scoop the warlock in one arm, the cleric in the other arm. Action surge, relieving. <laughs> Give me another strength check, please. Uh, sure. And uh, uh, just strength or athletics. Athletics. And Ophelia and Shire, are you allowing this? Uh, I, think I will allow it. <laughs> um, especially if uh, Vistorius can change it to their small form and hitch a ride. Okay. I think we've done this so often at this point that if Ophelia gets picked up, she's just kind of assuming that this is going to be how it's going to be. Yeah, Idara uh, <laughs> like, yeah, sort sure. of has, like, not really a code word, but definitely, like, a consistent approach to this, and is just like, all right, uh, everyone's out, we're leaving. Uh, you yeah. Know, she's half a second before, like, arm around your waist. Uh, <laughs> Shy let Adara pick her up and jump off a cliff. I, I think this is not going to compare to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like a football athletics, linebacker. <laughs> athletics checks in 18. Okay. It's a little tough. It ha- You've picked up and thrown them both before, but usually one at a time. It is tough yeah. to do this also while running. But, yeah, with oh. a twisted ankle. Uh. But uh, you do just make it to the door. I have, I just realized I have that really old art from when we had that one adventure with the avalanche, where it's just yes. a daughter with Ophelia and Shai just like walking. Uh, it yes. was B, was the other player there. It was, was it B at that time? Yeah, it was Oh B. yeah, because B got, because B got thrown, and then it was, what it was, yeah, it was Ophelia and Kuton, and then just like, linebacker, it, like, no, you know, I, got a, I thought Ophelia once. got thrown, because Ophelia I actually sketched thrown. Ophelia being thrown. Yeah, yeah there's so, there were Pete, there were so many things getting thrown and carried at that point. I was just like, you know what, fine. <laughs> all right, so you all make it outside. We are out of initiative, what? and you hear a cacophony of angry people. Oh, tragic! As the ceiling just boom collapses. Outside, uh, that wealthy gnome that you noticed before being carried on a litter is swarmed by angry customers. And he is going like, I promise you will get a quarter refund and free shrimp. All you can eat shrimp. Just, I, I will get to the bottom of this and uh, work on construction. You, you three, come here, come here. You seem like a competent bunch. Uh, gentle guest, esteemed guest, I will definitely give you a quarter refund. I will be right with you. Uh, I'm talking to my my contractors who are gonna get to the bottom of this, fix everything. So just bear with me. You three, you three. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just like, meanwhile, from underneath the doors are more like us. It, it's like, (laughs) I sense that there was a curse happening before this happened. Uh, is. I'm going to sense if he's, like, one of the central people hit by this curse. You can give me an arcana check. Please vibe check this man into the next dimension. 
this, uh, he goes, uh, Wilbur Thistlemane, owner of, uh, well, the Marble Shores Casino and, uh, well, the great, great grandson of, uh, the, the founder of the resort, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so that's a 35 Akana. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> nice. You get the sense that in this way, everyone is equally cursed. Mm, so like everyone that was in the building? Everyone on the island. Oh. Oh, okay. With that well, 30, I'm glad... you get that. It's big. It's a big in. <laughs> okay. And Shai's Sh- Sh- just kind of like, okay, so... Drax. There is a huge curse going on right now. Uh, I'm going to need some details on that. Oh, it's... People say it's a curse because the house usually wins. It's really just people who can't no. stand losing at a casino. There is an actual curse. I can sense it. Did, did you miss the... Did you happen to miss the part where, like, the ceiling just... Stopped being... The ceiling started being the floor. And, and then Shai's Ch- just like, Sir, I know my business. One of my titles is Curse Breaker, so you should be glad that I'm here. Oh, you're the three tieflings. This is perfect. No wonder the sailors were nervous. Uh, how would you... You're one of those people. How would you like to... Uh, <laughs> <The> sailors. <laughs> how would you like to help these uh, these good folk here and make a bit of coin? Uh, 8,000 gold apiece sound fair? Uh, it sounds like shit. You own a casino. <laughs> look, look, I'm not asking for much of your time. Just, you know, you're very, very famous... I just want you to do a quick search, look around the place, the lower levels, and make sure and tell everybody that everything's going to be okay. Should just take you an hour or two. What do you say? (laughs) Shia on one hand is is going to incite this guy because I have a feeling that this is bullshit and it's going to take a lot longer than a few hours. But also, Shy really wants to see that lower level. <laughs> mm. It's like perhaps not made over in casino ease. Mm-hmm. That uh, might yeah. have something actually of interest. The second he's like, go down into the lower levels and explore around, and Dara's like, "All right, fuck, we're doing this, but we're not doing this for uh, for such shit pay." I think yeah. gold a piece uh, is a lot of money. <laughs> I'm willing to do that, but I'm not going to get cask of Amandi autoed by this man. Uh, I, I will, uh, I'd be like, look, we already know you're cursed. 15k per person. Uh, you need us way more than we need you. Alternatively, I will take 8,000, but you're gonna refund everybody. By the way, that's 23 on insight. <laughs> okay. What are you trying to see about him, Shy? It, the thing is, he just kind of screams sleazeball, so I want to... Yeah, it's a casino. See, yeah, I, I want, I want to see if he knows what's actually going on. Ah, okay. Uh, we know he's full of shit, it's just a matter of what percentage. Is it 80 or 90? Yeah, he could be <laughs> just completely clueless and just sending us into an unknown situation, or he knows more than he's saying. Mm-hmm. Um, he definitely seems like a wealthy fool. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, okay. I thought he we had just faced this adventure a couple weeks ago. He seems like he's not used to being questioned. And he's used to letting money solve all of his problems. He has been a very lucky man. And uh, is, yeah, quick to just smooth things over financially with anybody. And it's never been a problem before. Then he can give us 15k per person because he's already cursed. So Adara... Uh, look at you with a feeling. He goes, okay, 15k is steep. Not as steep as refunding everybody. So how about this? 8,000 a person and you get a, a weekend's free stay at, uh, the, at the, uh, Thistle's Point. or at the Turnbuckle Inn. And all you can drink at the casino, bottomless shrimp, and... I'll throw in the prime rib. How does it? How does that feel like that is more expensive than just paying us 15k? Like, that feels like that's a trip worth more than 7,000. 
I, pr you know, that's the thing about business people is they'll have connections. So it might cost us seven thousand, but it wouldn't cost him seven thousand. Uh, ten k and all the above, and you got a deal. Hey, alternatively, if we do this, I'm gonna lead over to Adar and be like, "Can we get like a bag of holding so I can just keep?" I, I imagine it? that while this deal is taking place, Shia is uh, already searching out a way into the basement. <sighs> he goes, "All right, all right, deal. All right, uh... but no crime rib." Uh, no. That's not <laughs> what we just shook on. Because, uh, you've... You didn't become, uh, famous for nothing. I see you've got a right. You know what? I'm just happy that I don't have to get all of the candies to be the same color or something. So, deal! Our last year was oh. terrible. Yeah, <laughs> what it... I was just saying, yeah, what band was that? The band that was just, like... It's a lot of bands. <laughs> Yeah, that we're like, I only want green M&M's to make sure you're reading through our full fucking contract when we agree to come. Shy, you could give me an investigation check. I would love to. Yes, Alexis, this deal includes free shrimp. <laughs> Obviously. So that's a 23, again. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you, Alexis. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank oh, thank you. you. Thanks, Alexis. So, um... Uh, Wilbur shakes with Adara and uh, turns his back to on you, looks at the crowd and goes, Everybody, good news! The Three Flings, the God Killer, Ragnarok, and Cursebreaker are here to solve your problems! Gambling should commence by this evening. Now everybody get out of the raid, hold up in the hotel, I'll give everybody one drink ticket each and shy <laughs> you noticed a crack in the stone running from the ceiling across the casino floor and into a back hallway mm-hmm i know where i'm going Whoa. i assume everyone so so i was just like you know nothing john snow and just went to find the answers yeah. I assume everyone kind of pieces out the second he says something, but Adara, like, feebly to the crowd is just like, that's his estimate, not ours. We'll be done when we're done. Uh, oh, and then goes actually, to since, since it is raining outside, Mistorius mm -hmm. would have ducked back into a book. Got it. Oh, bud. Oh, buddy. Mm. Yeah, it's like, we Adara, do not want Mistorius disintegrating. Oh, no, please. Adara, give me a persuasion check? Just to hear uh, how much they hear you, uh, because they have been told that they get drink tickets. <laughs> I oh, rolled man. a three, so three. Ooh, Adara, you try and tell them that you'll be back soon, and you get this tickle in your throat, and you just can't stop coughing, and you've got a really sore throat now, and you can only whisper when you talk for a little bit and everybody oh. else is just like yeah drink tickets and they run into the hotel as this storm lightning is striking the beach and it's like a cacophony of thunder above you you just did to adar what gwen is currently experiencing i know i'm really right? sorry great job uh, uh did, i'm gonna did the curse like... escalate or was i supposed to roll a second d20 before that happened <laughs> uh the curse has not escalated but you are still cursed yeah uh Ophelia oh, no, seems... roll me a second d20, actually. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I just took it from your roll. Yeah, three again. So, you know, it still happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, watching Adara cough, Ophelia's just gonna walk up with, like, a spoonful of honey out of the herbalism kit and just, like, shove it in her face. I'll mix it in my whiskey. You know what? Honestly, hot toddy. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, can you heat this? My oh, yeah. cup? Yes, we have produced flame. We can do that now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Alexis, no. <laughs> uh, uh, then we're going to follow. We're going to follow uh, Shy. Shy. Yeah. Shy, you have already found a closed door marked storage. It is locked. And hmm. that is where Adara and Ophelia find you. Adara <laughs> drinking a hot toddy. It's a secret that we'll need for later. <laughs> hey, Adara, do you want to open this door or should I? You can do it. 
kind of lost my voice, though. Take so I'll finish your hot toddy, and I'll be back. Yeah, <laughs> just give me a sec. I'm just gonna pound it, and then be like, all right. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> only if we're that easy. <laughs> all right, let's open this door. Uh, I'm gonna check it for traps, because uh, I'm not, you know, a, I'm not a complete fool. Already. You're not and a level I'm, one anymore. Yeah, not level time. one. Um, and then I would like to try and open the door. Yeah, give me a perception check. Or investigation, your choice. Uh, natural 20 on the perception check. Nice! We're coming back. We're coming back Let's from the... Around. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> the you don't have to get this door. Alright, cool. Then, yeah, I'll push it open. Or well, pull it open. give me a sleight of hand check. Oh, okay. Uh, it just... I can't remember where I... Like who did this? But someone was like, "Yeah, I have a I have a lockpick," and they're like, "Oh, cool!" Expecting him to take out tools, uh, thieves' tools, and he just kicks the door. Sixteen. <laughs> okay. Um. Was that uh? What if you did it just a thieves' tools check? Would that be higher or lower? It would be higher because I'm proficient in thieves' tools. Ah, okay. Sorry. Give me a thieves' tools check. So, uh, that's a twenty-two. Okay. With thieves' tools, the door opens. Inside is a cluttered storage room. And shy because you have been following this crack like you were in that season I hated of Doctor Who. You find <laughs> the origin of this crack. It is a stone table stacked high with crates. Hmm. Okay. Um... I'm going to attempt to move the crates off of the stone table. Okay. You can easily do that. It just takes a little bit of time. And engraved on the surface is a coin facing heads up. Just hey. engraved on the surface? Yep. Huh. I'm going to try and push on one edge of the coin and see what happens. Nothing happens. Okay. Um, studying the stone table, it is it looking like an altar or just a stone table with a relief on it? Give me an investigation check. Sure. Investigation. 3020. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, you have been around enough of these. You know that this is some kind of trap door. Okay. okay. And I didn't even have to use my wand to find it. Some kind of trap door. So I know there's a coin on top. Uh, I'm going to put a gold coin on top of it and see if that does anything. Heck yeah. As soon as you put the... Oh, how is the coin facing? Um, heads up like it is on the table. Okay. Soon as you put that coin in, the table sinks into the ground, revealing a dusty spiral staircase leading into the darkness. Well, this looks fun. Yep, uh, Shy is going to lead the way down because uh, with Shy's horns, we don't need torches. <laughs> we can also see in the dark, no, so it's just kind of like helping. Vision. But yeah. it's like the thing is, the thing is, you can color vision. Sure, right. you can see in the dark, but you can't see colors, which yeah. when we're talking about things like paintings on the walls and stuff, might be relevant. Oh, how perfect. That song is called Darkness. Thanks, Kevin MacLeod. Ooh. Thanks, Kevin MacLeod. A friend of mine made a really good puzzle for his players that consistently used dark vision for every dungeon that was just like Colors. a series of four of the same gray squares. Put them in order. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. They had to like actually make light happen and then it was obviously different colors. Yeah. Just, like, oh, yeah. Like, does it or do I have to like massive glowing teeth? Yes, but they don't Not get enough. enough enough light to like read by. Yeah, not enough to cast useful light, just enough that in pitch darkness she looks like a jack-o'-lantern. 
Happy Halloween, everybody! It's the beginning of September. It's really just so that she can see what she's about to bite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. She needs her enemies to know what's coming. <laughs> you descend down this staircase, and you land in a chamber filled with faded murals. A lot of them are heavily damaged, like crumbled, chunks missing, some are scratched up. But you would now recognize Taiki and Tamora because you identified the other one. Uh, the ones that are in good shape depict Taiki and Tamora surrounded by golden stars. Very similar to the one on the casino ceiling. There are also fragmented murals of Bashaba, but instead of being surrounded by golden stars, she is wreathed in a golden light. Ooh. Hmm. At the far end is a single stone doorway. Ooh. And there okay. is something on it. But you might have to get closer to it. Unless you I would love to get closer. Look at some murals. Uh, uh, well, I will look at some murals first. Okay. Because I'd like to study them a bit more. Uh, yes, I, uh, if I can see some of the Bashaba murals, if they have cracks and stuff running through them, I will use Mending to try to put them completely back together so they're, Ooh. like, in a slightly better condition. Yeah. Give me, uh, so while you do that, Shy, give me Hit. a religion uh, or perception check. Uh, I'll do a religion check, but I also want to see if the damage to the murals was deliberate. Okay. Okay, you said investigation? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So that will be a uh, 26. Okay. Um, investigation to see if it's intentional damage. Yes. It doesn't seem like it. It seems just very old. Yeah, but it's weird that only one of that, the three seems to be just completely... You know what? It's it, it's bad luck. <laughs> you know what? I will say you do see evidence that... Oh my gosh! Thank you for Thank the you. subs! Thank Hi, you! Elias. Thanks. Um, Thanks, Elias. <laughs> yeah, I will say you do notice uh, what looks like... Um, Attempts to scratch out her face. Hmm. Not anymore, bitch, Mending. And Ophelia, when yes. you put it back together, uh, you can all see these murals depicting what is very surprising to you. That is uh, Tamora and Bashaba working together, being Ooh. worshipped as a group. Ooh, interesting. Okay. okay. So people used to kind of respect both sides of fortune and luck, and, and now they just mm -hmm. seem to have kind of picked a popular choice and tried to forget about the other. I mean, it's, yeah, it's entirely fair. When it comes to good luck and bad luck, number one, you need one to have the other. And number two, it's also something where sometimes you want to have bad luck, whether it's for you or for other people, just because it will make a better situation for you both. <laughs> well, it's like you, you learn more from bad luck than good luck, I find. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In any case. I can't um, spell. Sorry, I was trying to be nice on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you Adara, said shy. You want to? Hey. Sorry, was Zand about to ask a question? Or um, I thought Jess wanted Shy to make another roll no, for you're something good. specific. Okay, I'm good. Okay, then I'm probably just kind of scanning to see like if there's anything else of note in the room while um, they're you know investigating and repairing murals. Like uh, I'm more attuned to things like secret doors. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to be bombed out in a restoration over here. Calm down. Yeah. Uh, you do that, uh, and I'm just gonna make sure that there's not any, like, fucking, uh, poison gas, uh, holes that are about to get set off if we step on the wrong tile. Okay. So, Dara, you don't notice any secret doors, but looking around the room, 
you find the single door in here. There is a handprint in the middle of it. And you can, I know you speak every language. Can you read every language? You probably can. I mean, I just know every language. Okay, so yeah. Uh, you read under the palm written in celestial. Let the hand of fate guide you. Uh, right, I'll point that out to the group uh, and just be like, I don't... It's kind of got, like, unsure if it's got riddle vibes or if it's just, you know, vibes vibes. Um, can I remember anything referring to a hand of fate? Goddesses of fate, so it might just be, you know, vibes. It's somatic. Yeah, it might be themes as opposed to, like, a trick. I was also going to say, well, uh, Shai is doing that. I want to see if there is anything identifying um, about this hand, like the size of the palm, how big it is, like the difference between like an orc hand versus a uh, like a dwarf or a halfling, and see if I can figure out whose hand this is supposed to be kind of like coded to. Okay. Or, or is it just a symbolic indicator of where you should place a hand? Yeah. Or is it just like a, put your thing here. I'm definitely not going to shock you. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh Give me an investigation or religion check. I'll do oh. religion if you do investigation. I have the same in both. It's not going to do any different for us. <laughs> I see where Gwen's look has gone, and it's gone into this one set of dice I never use because I just got a critical oh, success no. on that. So that's a 29. Oh, okay. Okay. And you were doing religion? Uh, that yep. was for investigation. Oh, okay. And then Shy was doing investigation. Uh, was doing religion. Oh. Shy, yeah, I got a 19 for religion. So. Okay, sweet. Look at us, doing well. Mm -hmm. So, Ophelia, it looks like a human-sized hand. Mm -hmm. It looks like uh, you see lots and lots of oils have gone in here. It looks like it's smooth and has been used a lot over the years. But it is very dusty, as if no one has been in here for a long time. Shy, mm -hmm. you know that Tyche, the original goddess, uh, was part of the worship and dogma around Tyche, was fortune favors the bold, and to put oneself in the hands of fate, which meant to trust in Tyche. Mm -hmm. Okay. While... Shy is the one that's used to trusting deity figures. If we're going to go for the boldest of us, that would be Adara. Adara, slap your hand on this boy. Adara from the other side of the room is just like, oh, what? Heard my name. <laughs> hey, do you want to try putting your hand on this door? See what happens? 1-800. 1-800, are sure. oh, you slapping? Do it. Yeah, uh, I'll walk over there and <laughs> without really knowing what's going on, but trusting Shy implicitly, just be like, all right, back up. Uh, I like how it's because of Shy. It's not because of Ophelia. <laughs> we, Shy and Adara have a long history of dungeon mm -hmm. doming together. Uh, yep. So, you know. Ophelia... And, and, and Shy's just like, either of us can work, but if we're going for bold, let's go with Adara. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Adara trusts that Ophelia um, wants to have her best interests at heart, but doesn't necessarily trust Ophelia's ability to spot when something's a trap. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she'll just be like, all right, uh, back up like 10 feet? That's probably fine. All right, cool. Bam. What happens? Roll me a d6. Sure. Let's do the, the sharp one. 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 That tracks. Okay. This is why you should have put your faith in Ophelia. She's got a critical success. This is what you get. Wait, can How I can you do a critical success on a d6? Roll a six. Six. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Adara, put your yeah. hand on it, and the walls spin around you. You are now in the inner sanctum. Did everyone come? Yes, everyone has come. Okay, good. Okay. I was suddenly worried about my instructions to back up. There, mm. you are in a chamber made of stone, 100 feet in diameter. There are burning braziers all around you, 60 foot high vaulted ceilings. And on the floor of this room is a giant roulette wheel. 
consisting oh. of 30 black and white wedges. Like alternating, I assume? Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, like, the Shai time vaguely knows how this works, but now it knows Adara probably knows exactly. Yeah, Adara probably knows how roulette works. I don't. <laughs> as soon as you walk in, the door shuts behind you and becomes a smooth wall. Six Ooh. ghosts appear on the roulette wheel and then vanish onto the ethereal plane. Let's roll initiative. Ooh, cool. Thanks for the hydrate, Alexis. Thanks for the hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. I'll get hydrate that. before you die, Drake. Just a second. Not circus music. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> like be. I said, every day is a day at the circus if you're constantly clowning on yourself. <laughs> All right. Cool. How we doing, folks? Aggregate 20. Dang, nice. I rolled a natural one, so that's two. What is with everyone rolling natural ones tonight? Good god! I feel like okay. in this Chili's tonight! <laughs> and as I someone with a chronic illness, yes, it counts. That constantly counts. Uh, Gwen, I don't know if you saw, but I put together a shitty-ass meme that's in the live watching chat that just says that I feel Bishaba in the Chili's tonight. I, uh, didn't because I don't have the brain power <laughs> to check four chats, uh, but I'm glad it exists. Uh, yes, Ophelia, yeah. how'd you do? Uh, I got a seven. Okay. Uh, all right. Adara, you are up. All right. So there's four ghosts. Six ghosts, but they have Six vanished ghosts. onto the ethereal plane. I got true sight, bitches. Okay. I can see them. Uh, all right, where are they? <laughs> they are each standing on white wedges spaced uh, apart from each other. Uh, do they seem like they're doing anything or are they just they like they're going to be coming at us? They seem hostile, okay. Cool. Uh, then I'm just gonna kind of point out where they are to the group. Uh, okay. Mostly for Shy's benefit, I think. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll just go to the closest one and start swinging. Because if they're hostile, I'll be hostile first. So you would know that you can see it while it is on the ethereal plane, but can't be affected unless you're oh. on the plane. Okay, never mind then. Uh, I'll let everyone know where they are, and I'll um, ready in action to attack one if it uh, rematerializes. Um, I will say, Shy is planning on casting True Seeing on her turn. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't have. I guess we still have dimensional shackles, so I'm gonna throw that out there. But uh, Ghost Touch doesn't exist in D and D, right? Five uh, E. So no. yeah, that's what I got. And Adara, when you step on the wheel, it spins. Ooh, how fast? Ooh. Uh, not fast enough to make you sick. It's just you know you're on something moving now. All right. Hell yeah. Um, that's my turn. I okay. got my sword out and I'm ready. Roll me a d12. Sure. Ooh, Two. actually. All right. I, I might end up using a new spell on my turn. Ooh, yeah. Adara, you yeah. do a little bit of a trip and you land on a white wedge and you are now on the ethereal plane. Oh shit. It is now a ghost turn. And, uh, let's see. Adara. Mm -hmm. Give me three wisdom saving throws, please. Sure. Um, are these against a magic effect? Uh, yeah, they are. They're against scary face. Cool. And actually, first one. shy. Uh, well, let's do Adara's first. Uh, first one is an 18. Okay. Second one is a 16. Okay. And third one is a 23. Cool. You are immune to the horrifying visage of three of the ghosts. And uh, Ophelia, can you see into the ethereal plane? 
Uh, yes. Okay. Shy, you cannot, correct? I cannot at this point. Okay. So, Ophelia, give me three, uh, wisdom saving throws. Okay. <laughs> Are these all against magic? You. Are these all against magic? They're against scary ghost faces. Yep. Okay. Um, also, a reminder uh, that I readied an attack for when I could attack one of them. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one of the, uh, first one, 27. Okay. Uh, second one, 22. Cool. Third one, 27. You are immune to the other three. And Which Adara, also would have been the 22, also would have been the 22 if I had taken the lower. Adara, you are ready to action goes off? Woo! Hey, can you repeat that? Your ready to action goes off. Hell Pop yeah. off, queen. Um, Go. I get all my attacks. So that's gonna be... <laughs> well, the first one's a natural one. But then the second one... Okay. I said uh, pop off, queen, not fall off, queen. <laughs> um, 25 to hit. <laughs> That'll hit. And then and roll me an extra d20 after this attack for that nat one. All right. Uh, d20 is a 12. And okay. the attack itself is... Um, minimum 14 points of damage. Okay. Next two attacks are a 15 on the die and a, um, 23 to hit. So I think both those hit? Yep. Cool. Then that is another six. Uh, 34 points of damage total between the two attacks. And that first ghost poofs out of existence. Cool. Also, don't forget, you still have a nat 20... I do still have a nat 20. You're right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else, Adara? Uh, no, because that was my ready to action. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ophelia, you are up. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, now, here's my question. Can If I uh, go on the wheel, can I jump onto one of the white uh, wedges without, like, tripping, falling, and or swirling around? It is spinny, but okay. yeah. All right, I was gonna say, can I like purposefully deposit myself on a white, uh, white wedge so I can help it all? Yeah, you can put a white wedge. Okay. Yes, I will do that then. Uh, how close are uh these guys to me? Uh, I'll say there's one on this. Oh my god! What did I do? Oh no, y'all! I'm so <laughs> sorry. Ah! Uh... I broke everything. Oh no! No! Hi everybody, I broke everything. Just went to the ethereal plane. I went to the ethereal plane. Oh, I'm playing Adara now! Give me all your turns! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, sorry! Okay, how close uh, are they? I'll say there's one on a wedge with you. So okay. you can do whatever you want to do. Okay, um, but they're otherwise, where are the other ones? Uh every other wedge so every 20 feet okay fun i'm so sorry everyone i i put my book on top of my keyboard and then it did a go away <laughs> no it did a go it. away <laughs> thank you love that okay um i'm just gonna check something real quick okay also uh, not, yes not to be all uh, teacher, you forgot to give us homework, but uh, were the ghosts supposed to have a turn? They did. They did their horrifying visage. Oh, okay. That was an yeah. action. Got it. Yep. Okay. Uh, ghosts are much lower okay. level than you. They're so small. They're so small. Uh, how much damage did Adara do to the thing again? Just a quick question. I'm just trying to, like, think. Uh, she yeah, overkilled it. It was, like, 38 damage or 40-something okay. damage. Cool. Oh, she overkilled uh, it, so it was, like, 55 damage, I think. Okay. That's what I thought. I wasn't fully sure. My brain, like, blocked out as soon as you started saying numbers. Okay, I am going to take uh, your girl's adamanti adamantine scythe off my back and uh, swirl it around me to try to hit the ghost that is on the uh, platform with me. Okay. Which is great. This is going to be the first time I'm going to fucking use this thing. Uh, uh, that's a 17. That hits. Yay! Okay. Okay. So, this, so, right off the ball. Uh, that is 13 damage for this, uh, that's just plain slashing. Okay. And then, my other d12s. 
I was about to ask if it was magical, and then I remember this literally belonged to a god. Of course it was. <laughs> yeah, and it's also adamantine, if that means anything. I don't know what that means, but it, it doesn't. It is. But it, would, it means it'd be really good at killing golems. Okay, well, that's fun. Um, and then that is uh, 10 points of necrotic damage. Okay, the necrotic and then, does not seem to affect it. Yes, and then I have to check something because I think... Uh, does that work? Okay, yes. Uh, so I... Yes, okay. And then alongside that, I have a Booming Blade. So that is going to... That is now full of uh, thunderous energy. And if it moves, uh, it will be taking more damage. Nice. So... And then I hit it, so I gotta hit it. I gotta... Roll more damage, because I don't know how my shit works. One, two... Uh, it's not moving yet, so it's just gonna be three of these. Okay, and then that's uh, 14 thunder damage. And then Ophelia, roll me a d12. Okay. I just had my d12s and I'm like, where'd they go? I'm so smart. I think you're smart. That's an 11. All right. You fall off of the white square and onto a black square. You are no longer on the ethereal plane. I really said, anyway, hit you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then Shy, you were up. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Uh, well. This music is so dramatic. Sorry. I think I'm going to go ahead and do true seeing. Okay. Um, because they're bamfing in and out of the Etheria plane. I want to be able to see everything. Yep. Um, and considering one of them is in the Etheria plane and the other one is not, if they're both in the Etheria plane, I thought I might do a Holy Aura since I had no idea if we would need advantage on saving throws or not but i'm thinking true sight is going to be the best way to go here sounds good and um i wonder if with my bonus action i can direct mistorius okay um buddy yeah but it's the let's... boy <laughs> Here comes the boy! Shai's, Shai's going to Hello. try and study the whole setup and see if she can help. Dante and Crouton are at, like, the pet spa. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're in the underground with Slipnir. Uh, but, um... Yeah, this is the giant roulette wheel. I want to try and figure out what the deal is with this and if I can trigger something that might help bring out the ghosts. Oh, okay. Ooh, interesting. From the from the uh, ethereal plane. I I'd like to imagine that all the pets are just like hanging out in a really nice spot and then Fred's just sitting in like a bowl of cucumber water and he's like, this is it, this is it. I've peaked. Oh. <laughs> Nothing more. Um So you're trying to have Mistorius do like an Arcana check for you? Um I or want Mistorius. I want Mistorius to press a button, if there's a button somewhere. I want Mistoria to find a lever and just like attack it. I'll tell you there are no levers. Okay. But if Mistorius gets on the wheel, you see him when he is on the black uh, slice. And then if he hops over onto the white slice, he vanishes. But you can see him now. He is on the ethereal plane. Okay, I'm going to direct Mistorius onto the white slice that uh, she saw Adara disappear onto. Okay. And just tell him to help Adara. Oh. Which means he will move into flanking position and attack um, if there's an enemy near Adara. Alright. Oh, well, that's nice. Roll me a d12, Shy. What a good, What a good little friend. He is a good boy. He's doing his best. I love him. A D12. That would be a nine. Okay. So you uh, you were on a black slice anyway, I believe. So you are still mm -hmm. on the mortal plane. And then it's Adara's turn. All right. Are there any more ghosts within arm's reach that I could perhaps flank with the stories? Uh, were you still on the ethereal plane? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I'll say there's another one. You can flank with Nestorius. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, let's try and take out this ghost. Oh, yeah, you fell onto the ethereal plane. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah. <sighs> um, with advantage, that's a 22. That that will hit. Not hard to hit cool. a ghost. That's true. Well, I mean, <laughs> sort of. Uh, 15 points of damage okay. for that attack. Next one. I have a nat 20, so I'm remembering to use it. Yeah! Look at you! Uh, I cut its fucking head off. Yeah! I don't know if that works on ghosts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can cut its head off. Uh, sorry, I, I, I just will got say a that... very angry message from my mom saying that I should be nice to Queen Elizabeth <laughs> on Twitter. Oh. Oh okay, I'll be nice to Queen Elizabeth uh, when she's <laughs> nice to all the people that finally got out underneath colonialism. Uh, <laughs> what weird text to get? Um, huh? Oh, what a weird text to get. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, Sorry, Mom, can't talk. 20. Busy in the ethereal plane. See you later. Yeah. Uh, are, are there any other ghosts I can reach? Uh, with your movement, yeah. Yeah, alright, I will move. Uh, I go to another one. So I'm no longer flanking with Mistorius, right? But... Right. Cool. So, uh, just regular attacks. Um, that is a 27 to hit. Oh, okay. And uh, 14 points of damage. Okay. Then roll minimum again. And my last yikes. attack is a uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Nice. Well, this time it's 15 points of damage. Nice. <laughs> and as a bonus action, I'm going to bite the ghost. Please do. All okay. right, there we go. An actually good roll. Uh, 28 to hit. And... I remember Will of the Wisp tastes minty. Do ghosts also taste minty? Uh, minimum damage for 10. Uh, <laughs> to answer your first question. Uh... <laughs> Second question, I think we've done ghosts before. Uh, Will the Wisps were like, um, like Pop Rocks. Oh, uh, right. Oh. Ghosts were minty. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I will say, since Mistorius was directed to help Adara, we'll use uh, his reaction to try and spit acid at one of the ghosts. Yeah! Uh, so like that will be four points of acid damage. Okay. Oh, that ghost is almost dead. Uh, Adara, roll me a d12, please. D12. Five. Five. Okay. So you fall onto a black uh, piece, and you are now in the mortal plane. And then it is ghost's turn. And this ghost sees Adara as a threat. And Adara, give me a charisma saving throw, please. Can it affect me? It's I'm on the material plane. Uh, yeah, they can do that. Okay. Is this against a magic effect? It's against possession. Ooh. So kind Ooh. of. Hmm. Is he allowed to do that? Yes. <laughs> oh, excellent news. Natural 20. Yeah. 21. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for a natural 20, tell me how you repel this ghost so hard. That it dies. I, uh, yeah, so I think two um, hit points left. I, the ghost comes out of Dara. She can see it because she can see into the ethereal plane. She sees it like coming, swooping in for a, uh, a, a possession thing. So she reaches her arm out, crossing over the barrier into the like ethereal plane like border, and just like grabs it by the throat. And is just like fuck you, uh, and just like tears it away with her ethereal claws from Luthic. Hey, there we yeah. go. Hey, we Hang love there. that. Yeah. I love that. And then I would like, uh, there's three ghosts left. There's three of you. Everybody give me a charisma save against possession. Oh, I'm good at cool. that. Cool. Also, Shy this? is also saying, like, what the fuck to both Ophelia and Adara going claws on <laughs> one hand. What the fuck? Uh, if Shy is going to uh, do that, I'm gonna look over at Shy and do like the Wolverine thing where it's like out and then immediately back into the hand and like give her a thumbs up. <laughs> is it one hand or is it both hand? Can it's it be both hand? hand? It's, it's one. Dang it. It's your non Listen, you gotta have your other hand free so you can do things. So you yeah. can type and like answer your messages and stuff. Yeah. But it's ethereal. It's your non I don't know what typing is. For, for woman love woman purposes. That's fair. Okay, again, again, ethereal. again, though, it could have been both hands, but just these ones with nothing. That's We've true. We've gone over this. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
yeah, Shy goes, what the fuck? Uh, and Adara goes, oh yeah, uh, explain this thing. But then that's a 10 on my charisma save, so. Ooh. Very um, charismatic of you, Adara. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that fails, so I'm gonna use Indomitable okay. to try and reroll it. What a queen. Now it's a 9. Okay. Roll me I an got extra a... d20 to go with that, please. Cool. I got a 17 on the charisma saving throw. Okay. Four. We're doing better and better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Ophelia, how'd you do? Uh, I got a 22. Okay. Ophelia and Shy, you have uh, repelled the attempt at possession. Adara. My vibes are too good. You are incapacitated, and now right. you are being uh, propelled around by a ghost. All right. Are they, are they just like ragdolling Adara around like a Gary's mod thing? What's the story here? I never yeah. should have unattuned for my greater silvered sword. The ghost. Oh wait, you are. Oh yeah, you did unattune for that. There's also. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the ghost disappears, the target is incapacitated, the ghost now controls the body, but doesn't deprive the target of awareness. So you know this is happening to you. Ooh, the ghost Ooh that's somehow oh. worse. That's somehow worse. I'm so worse. mad about it. The ghost can't be targeted by any attack, spell, or other effect, except ones that turn undead, and it retains its alignment, wisdom, charisma, and its immunity to being charmed and frightened. It otherwise uses the possessed target statistics but doesn't gain access to their knowledge class features or proficiencies. Oh, so it just doesn't have the oh. seven attacks. Thank the fucking gods. Yeah, but yeah. At, this, at this point, the ghost and Adara are on the mortal plane, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I meant Good. to ask too, did the uh, did the one ghost that I hit with uh, Booming Blade, has it moved? Because it's taking damage if it's moving. Yes, because it tried to possess you. Okay. okay. Let me get my dice real quick. One. I just lost my gates again. Two. Three, and then what's the last one? Okay, my man is taking uh, 18 points of thunder damage. And that ghost is gone. Goodbye! And then it's Shy's turn. Adar is hot! Adar is hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's like basically uh, Adara was going to answer Shy's question, so now Shy knows something's wrong with Adara. And, uh, knows to cast Turn Undead. I'm wondering if- Oh, no, wait, if... I, I skipped Ophelia's turn entirely. I'm so sorry. Ophelia, it's oh. your turn. You're fine. Um, let's see, what is- So we just know that Adara is just kind of vibing, just kind of living over there now, with a ghost inside of her. I'm gonna say she looks like Adara, except instead of her glowy eyes, they're, uh, just clouds. Ooh, that's oh, that's uncomfortable. She already doesn't have pupils. You've just made it worse somehow. Yeah. Um, are there any other ghosts? Or is it just still Adara? With uh, the ghost there in? is Adara and one other ghost. Okay, I am gonna look at Shy and be like, I can't reasonably do anything about Adara at the moment, so I'm gonna just try like like keep you from getting hit. Uh, Shy's just like, I got this. Okay, I'm trusting you. I hope. Okay. Ah. I'm gonna hit the other one with the uh, with the scythe again. So the ghost, uh, ghost Adara just gives this creepy smile and brandishes her sword and like waves. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that that is a sixteen to hit. That hits. Okay. Cool. What do I do? I have to take off the fucking dice again. Okay. Uh, this is also with booming blade. So there's uh, right off the bat that is eighteen uh, slashing damage. Yes. And then let me get the. Uh, I think it's twelve. It's a weird. It's a good amount of damage. Uh, and then that is uh, that is 18 necrotic damage because I rolled a 12, even though that doesn't really do anything. Yep. And then for Booming Blade, I will roll that real quick. Uh, ooh, not uh, that is uh, 15 points of thunder damage, and it has the thunderous aura around it. Anything else? Uh, I will... Let's see. I think I'm just gonna kind of hang out and keep an eye on uh, Adar like Adara, and if Adara moves, I want to be able to use my reaction. Okay. 
Now it is Shy's turn. Okay. Hey, buddy. Turn undead. <laughs> and the thing is, the thing about turn undead, as I was uh, um, reading it, they have to make a wisdom saving throw against me, but it's any ghost that can see or hear me. Ooh, okay. So even if it's so, possessing Adara. Even if it's possessing Adara or in the ethereal plane, as long as it can see or hear me. Sweet. That's a that's really good. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Save me. <gasps> that's a nat 20. <laughs> Boo. Ooh. I'm so sorry. No, you're Which not. Stop. No. no, this is great. No, this is, this is absolutely great. Is this better um, somehow? Well, it's it's not better, but it is more There's, interesting. Which one was that? There's more than one, right? There is or more than is, one. Oh, right. Sorry. One? What did you have to roll? For that one? Both nat 20s. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? No. I, I really am Jess feeling the Shava this chill is tonight. <laughs> Jess, you do okay. realize that it's like a 1 in 400 chance of that happening. I know. <laughs> you did this on purpose. <laughs> That's why I double checked this one because I saw this little paw print and I was like, is that a 20? But there's a one elsewhere. So, yes, I assume oh. the paw print is a 20. Oh, Shy is so pissed off right now. But. Level 20 cleric versus some regular ass ghosts. <laughs> mm, <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm just. Okay. I so. God. Remind me what we can do for possession. You said we can't harm. We can't harm the ghost, we can't target it directly. You can force uh, them out with turn on dead or um dispel evil and good. Or something similar. Which I actually have dispel evil and good. I was gonna good. say you have access to that. I don't, but you do. Yeah, it's uh, uh let me just check this. So I think you're powerful enough quick. you would have just straight up destroyed undead. <laughs> Had I not rolled that well. Yeah, it's it's like it, it would have been powerful enough to destroy undead. Okay, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I love Dispel the... Evil and Good is an action. Okay. Okay. So Is Turn on Dead an action or is that a is that a bonus action? Good question. Let me check. Because that'll depend if you get to do it now. Also, I hope that whoever is like the poor Twitch intern that has to check all the channels, I hope that they just saw Draz go, I'm feeling Bishaba and the Chili's tonight, what the fuck, and have to sit there and wonder what we're doing. Mm. <sighs> yeah, Turn on Dead is an me. action. Okay. Um, okay. Yep, if you. Okay, I will look at uh, Shy, assuming that something was gonna happen, and seeing nothing happen, Ophelia is like, Am I. Is it gone? Or like, what's happening. Uh, Shai's just like, nope, not gone. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different, but I'll have to wait till next turn. Uh, okay. However, Shai's going to get right up in Adar's face. Okay. And take the dodge action, but Mistorius is also going to do the same. So we are going to try and both distract Adara. Okay. For, yeah. Oh, and roll me a d12. Oh, and I should have had Ophelia do that, too. Just see what... Oh, I can do that for you now. Outside. Yeah, I can do that for you now. Okay. That's, uh, a, that's a five. Okay. Uh, six. You're five or six? <laughs> six. six. Okay. So, uh, Ophelia, you are on a black square on the mortal plane. Uh, okay. Shy, you are on a white square on the ethereal plane. Ooh. Oh, oh, which means that Adara should not be able to attack me until she unless she, she gets can't. on the square. She she yeah. Unless she moves, yeah, she can't. Uh, but uh, I'm Adara now. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh -huh. Ghost Adara. Uh, do you get Adara's initiative, or does she still get a turn technically? I'm puppeting Adara, so I'm going on ghost turn. Adara is okay. incapacitated and does not get a turn. Interesting. I'm just gonna okay. say, Adara, how are you feeling right yeah. now? Uh, <laughs> livid. Okay. <laughs> uh, she knows what's happening and she is furious about it. You know Adara, the fucking what? Will you roll me an what? attack against your feeling, please? Sure. I, wa I would love to see you do this, please. But just one, because it's a ghost. It just gets one attack. Yes. Is it a net one? Am I still using my sword? Yes. No. Okay. 
Pinto. If, if she, uh, hey, guess what? Uh, Silver you... Bones, take, do it again. Take the lower roll. Okay, cool. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was gonna. Say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, it's. I I was ready for something to hit me, and that's why I was like, I'm gonna wait and not use my reaction, because if yes. Adara then hits me, then I can force her to not. I'm yeah, so glad. Call. Anyway, that's only a 28. <laughs> okay, you know what? The head is still attached to the vertebrae, so I'm happy about that. Yeah. Um, fun fact then, uh, Shy, you now have advantage on your next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Okay. All right. Uh, you do take 18 points of damage. You know what? That is significantly better than I expected, so That's that, way... I'm not complaining. It's huh? good that Ophelia didn't lose her head in a messy situation. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, I ha I love Silvery Barbs. I've used it so often since I've grabbed it, and I think this is perhaps the best use of it I will ever have. Yeah! <sighs> yeah! Uh, other ghost is just gonna... Oh, can't attack Shy. Because Shy is on the ethereal plane, so has to... Oh, wait, no, this one was on the ethereal plane. I'm confusing myself. Uh... Oh, no, wait, it did come onto the regular plane to try and attack you. So it can't do that, so it can only attack Ophelia. Yeah! Does a 23 hit you? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm just thinking of this, uh... I've been playing back for blood a lot, and there's one character where he's like, the only thing that can kill me is me! You're not allowed! <laughs> and I'm imagining that with Adara. Oh my god, Adara, like, two episodes ago, with the amulet of gore. <laughs> yeah, honestly? It's so good, I love it. I think it's 20 necrotic damage? I'm immune. That's what Fuck I thought. You. I was like, I think you're fine. Uh, and then it's Ophelia's turn. <laughs> Suck it. Okay. Uh... Uh, let's see, what is... I'm trying to figure out what I can do to Adara without, like, actively hurting her. Hurt because... me, it's fine. I have so many HP. <laughs> I mean, if you knock her down to zero HP, she won't be possessed anymore. Yeah, but here's the thing. I don't feasibly think I have an attack that can get her down that far unless I hit her with a Blade of Disaster. And, hurl her and then hurl okay. her through hell. <laughs> and I'm not fucking doing that to her. I'm just gonna say, I've got this on the okay. next turn. Um, I will then uh, hold my action for if Adara chooses to do anything or if uh, Shy needs help. There is that and... uh, the ghosty, the other ghost, if you want. Oh, that one's still- I forgot, that one's still alive. I did so much damage to it, I thought it was dead. Um, I'm gonna hop over to another thing and uh, hit it. Do it. You don't even have to hop anywhere, because it's right here with you. Okay. Is it still on the- no, is it still on the same plane, though? Yeah, because it... it tried to possess okay, you cool. before. And did... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's an eight. I know that for a fact. That's not gonna hit it. That does not hit. Yep. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna uh, hold my bonus action and my reaction if shiny tell. Yeah, roll me a d12. Okay. That's an 11 again. Okay, you are still on the mortal plane. And I keep rolling turn. 11s. Uh, Double ones. Double Listen, ones. Listen, sometimes that's all you need. That's all you need. Uh, shy, you are up. I'm gonna... Yeah. Okay. Shy is going to get right up in Adara's face, mack her on the forehead, and dispel good and evil. <laughs> the ghost doesn't even get Thanks. a save. It's just repelled. Cool. Thanks. Please, please have it be like a, you just like smack her across the face to knock her out of it. It's just like ghosts just flying out of her. Yeah. It's like as an action, you touch a creature that is charmed, frightened, or possessed. Um, the creature you touch is no longer charmed, frightened, or possessed. And Adara, you are immune to that ghost possession for 24 hours. But I don't I think better that ghost be. will that long. <laughs> no. Uh, as soon as I see, like, the glow come back to Adara's eyes, I'm like, Hi! Welcome back! You almost took my oh, head shit. off. Uh, get rid of uh, that. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Shai, um, what else do you do? Um, I direct Mysterious to help attack one of the ghosts. Um, let's okay. have him flank with Ophelia and attack that ghost that she was attacking. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna make an attack roll. And that was the uh, 19 on the die, so pretty sure that hits. Yes, that hits. So that will be a d6 plus. Okay, so that's um, five piercing plus five acid. 
Is this the one that was in Andara or the other one? Uh, the other one. Okay. The one that Ophelia was attacking. Five plus six acid? Uh, um, five plus five acid. Oh, ten. Okay. Nice and, nice and even. And oh, also, else. is that, uh, in terms of that oh, ghost leaving a dollar's body, thank you. In terms of that ghost leaving a dollar's body, does that mean I get an opportunity attack against it? Yeah, you sure do. Okay, do nice. Do I get an opportunity attack against it? I really want you to. Can we all get an opportunity attack <laughs> against it? Because I think I, we deserve it. I, yes, everyone I, can opportunity I want to DK Donkey Kong this man. I'll say Ophelia first, because she had held her action for it. Yes. I held my bonus action and my reaction, yes. Uh, and yeah, for this, I am going to try to hit it with a circle, because I don't want to fucking miss this one. Uh, that's a 25. That'll hit. You know, you don't get okay. to use your modifier, though, for this one, cause, or for the damage, because it's... Uh, yeah, second. that's fine. That is fine with me, because I'm still happy that I hit that, because if I would have whiffed it, that would have been kind of unfortunate. Uh, that is just uh, two flat piercing damage. Cool. Who's this is the jo This is the JoJo. Everybody punch one can, person. Can Five. I go next with the rebuttal? Yeah. And then Shai, you'll roll me a d12. Oh, that is a natural 20 with the rebuttal. Nice! Okay. Yeah! yeah. So. Ajara, I'll save you some ghosts, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, there'll be enough left. I got some feelings I gotta work out. <laughs> I've got some angst. <laughs> uh, so that'll be 20 points of damage for the rebutter. Cool. I love this so much. And you said a d12? Mm-hmm. I'll say you stun it, too. Oh, nice. Because uh, that'll be a That'll be a 9. Nine. Okay, so you uh, chunk over to the mortal plane. Oh, Adara, you <laughs> get okay. your. Uh, you are already on the mortal plane, but you get your opportunity attack, yeah. and then it's your turn. Wait, I All thought right. I was on the mortal plane because I had oh, yeah, to in order to hit there. Adara. Oh yeah. Okay. Also, right. uh, Zan, did you use your advantage that I gave you with the barbs? Um, I sure get did 20. not because I already had advantage with the uh, rebel sword because okay. that's something that just automatically happens. Okay, that's why I was curious because you make it within a minute, so you still have it. Okay, you don't use it. So nice. I'm gonna say that uh, this this ghost gets shunted out of Adara's body and um, with a uh, 34 to hit. A what? Um, a 34 okay. to hit. Yes. Uh, I uh, just like reach out and like claw it with my ethereal claws. Uh, uh, so I get the. Uh, da, da, da. That's gonna be. Oh, actually a good roll. So that's 12 magical slashing plus um, 7 poison damage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. With my claws from Luthic. Nice. The poison does not matter because ghost. But still very good. Yeah. And then it's your turn, Adara. All right. Fuck that ghost. Yeah. Uh, this ghost is stunned from shy, so you now get advantage on attacks against this ghost. Oh, nice. All right. Cool. Then yeah. Um. I. <laughs> um. Yeah. Eighteen on the die to hit. So that hits. 30 yeah. Three um, is eleven. That's, <laughs> that's catharsis cool. for you, baby. Wow! I finally rolled max. Twenty-one points of damage. Yay! And you obliterate the ghost that possessed you. Good. Uh, where's the next one? <laughs> uh, over vibing with Ophelia. Yeah, you not so there. long. Oh, yeah. it probably looks quite bad. I've done, I think, at least it's, 30 damage to it, yeah. It's like just okay, hovering yeah. in pieces. You can't see it all at once. <laughs> I'm gonna stomp over there and swing at it. Give me a swing. Yay. Um, does an aggregate 20 hit? Sure does. Right. Yeah. Um, that's cocked. Okay, back to minimum, but 14 points of damage. Zara, how do you end the fight with these goats? Um, As the goats. Goat just stop spinning. These goats. I goats. Uh, oh. Uh, I just, uh, my throat's too sore to try and do this, and also I'm being considerate to all our watchers, but she's just like, uh, the ghost comes out of her, uh, body, and she just starts- it's just like one long scream as she's just like fuck you but it's like big and long and she's so mad <laughs> yeah um, girl. but yeah, again for you. i'm unwell so you all just have to imagine that this happened 
So I imagine, like, as Adara is panting after having that cathartic response, Shy just goes, So, where did you get that manicure? I kind of want one. Uh, Luthic, um, uh, fuck, um, Ophelia, are you, you're, you're fine. I mean, yes, and then, like, tilt my head back and forth. Okay, um, sorry. So, oh, no, you're fine, wasn't you. The wheel has stopped spinning, and as you dispatch that last ghost, a glowing crystal emerges from where it was vibing. From its form. Hey. Um, I feel like it's glowing and I should probably do an arcana check on this. Yeah, while we're yeah. doing that, uh, do we want to take a short rest, perhaps? Yes, because Alexis also redeemed it earlier and we never used oh, yeah. it. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, I think Adara wants to uh, reattune. Yeah. Yes. Sword. Yes. Uh, yeah, you could do that. I think while y'all are, uh, while we're all sitting, uh, Ophelia is just like uh, braiding Adara's hair and being like, "It's okay, don't worry." About it. And I, I think Shy will also kind of apologize and just say, "You know what? I've never had my turn undead completely fail before. That was, yeah, it's that was a new experience." It's been a long time since uh, something like that's happened, and uh, I, yeah, it's certainly the first time something like that's happened with that sword. So, um, well, I'm just gonna, I, I'm just gonna switch for a bit. I, it's good uh, to know that like the repair worked, which is cool. Yeah, glad you're okay. Yeah, I am too. Uh, it's, it's very helpful. Spells are very helpful. <laughs> I mean, you um, wouldn't have been in that situation if magic didn't exist, but okay. I think ghosts necessarily care if magic is involved. They just kind of want to do stuff. I think they were using magic. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, uh. Glad you're all right. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna feel shitty and weird about this for at least a couple days. Oh, don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, we can you can make it up to me by helping me uh, force that guy to pay everyone back because the casino is shut down. And by right. literally helping me bankrupt him by filling a, uh, like a bag of holding with shrimp. Sounds good. Oh yes, we will be doing that. Oh yes, full, yes, full stop. <laughs> Shy, you were doing an identify on this during a short rest. Uh, I'm doing an. Or an arcana I could, check. I can, I can do a check. I was going to try an arcana check. Go for it. I mean, before I touch it and use Identify, I think I want to just see if I can take a look. Um, yeah, that'll be a 33. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know exactly what this is. Uh, this is a glowstone. It is an artificial gemstone developed by dwarves to recharge magic items. Ooh, oh, interesting. They can basically produce uh, continual light, but not heat. That and... sounds... Yeah. You said recharge magical items. Yep, they pretty much just attach to any magical item they see, or that is near them, like a magnet, and uh, start just draining themselves to charge the item constantly. Because I was wondering if that would start reacting to the ring that Chai has. The one with wishes in it, or which one? The one with wishes in it. Yeah! That, sure, that I'll hop used... on your ring and recharge yeah, your that, ring. That... Oh, oh geez. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to immediately recharge a wish spell, but um, that could be cool. Um, yeah, do it. I'm just imagining sure. this tiny ring with like a massive rock just taped on it. And then when your rest is complete, uh, one of you, it was Adara last time, so pick between Shy and Ophelia, roll me a d6. I could go ahead and get this one. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get a drink real quick. I will get back. Uh, that'll be a six. 
Okay. So, the walls shift around you. And on the far side of this hexagonal chamber, there are three circular divots. You notice they're exactly the same size as your glowstone. There are murals all around. And yeah, uh, you notice that there are uh, images of Bishaba and Tamora around here, but these murals are pretty poorly put together. Or not poorly put together. They're, uh, like, crumbling. Mm. But you notice a lot of them are Bishaba causing crops to fail and horrible illness. Those murals are not damaged. Can give me an okay. investigation what did we, what did we get with the, with the wool? Oh, uh, we've got another room. Oh, uh, fun. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm going to gently detach the stone from the ring because it looks like we're going to need it for one of the three divots in the center of the room. Yeah, you um, should use it for recharging in case it uh, uses up the glowstone. Right. It so, fits perfectly, and that area starts to glow. Ooh, fancy. Oh, fancy. Which area? Around the door. Oh, okay. Anybody can give me an investigation check to see more of the murals. Oh, there's more uh, murals in this room? Mm -hmm. Fun. Yes, and some of them are in bad shape. The ones that seem to be in good shape are the ones depicting Beshiba uh, um, uh, causing harm. Ooh, interesting. Okay, uh, I got a... Stab I got a... What is it? No, that's a 15. And then uh, while we are doing this, if I can, I'm going to try to, again, mending some of the more broken ones back together. Yeah. I got a 29 on investigation. Okay. I got a 19 on investigation. Sweet. So you all notice that the destroyed murals in here are of Tamora also causing crop failure and plague. Oh. Okay. So... Uh... There has to be a balance, basically, and they can't keep viewing Tamora as this just completely good goddess if they know that she's involved in uh, in things that they would consider bad luck. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good luck for the things that bring the plague, but it's bad luck for other people. Like I said, it's kind of like a double, it's a double-edged sword. It, what's good for one thing is bad luck for another thing. Yeah, kind of depends on your point of view. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if Plague is one of the ones I'd consider being like, uh, Sucks some people you. win, some people lose. Yeah. I mean, it's good for the Plague I mean, because it things... survives, which is its goal. Y yeah, it's, it's like it is a living organism. So yeah. um, it's like... just in order to survive. Yeah, I don't like, have ranks in medicine, so this is news and horrifying to me. <laughs> yes, like getting over being sick is good for you, but it's bad for the virus, because the virus just wants to live. And Adara's like, there's it, what in I, me? I think, I think we're, we're causing Adara to have an existential crisis by yes. going, oh well, yeah, all, all of your day. illnesses are, causing, are caused by living organisms that have to make you sick in order to live. And Adara's like, it's that's not fun. just because... Adara's <laughs> like, it's not because the humors in my body are bad! That, that fucking sucks. Uh, I guess, you know, I have a new thing to be in my head about. Thanks. <laughs> uh, and then I'm feeling like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Again, I told you, I'm going to be feeling some, t some type of way for like three days and then I'll be fine. Listen, three, the shrimp will be fine. <laughs> uh, okay, what else is going on in this room? That's it. It's like you might have to come back to this room. Okay. Mm. Feel yeah, there, it looked like there were two other indentions for um, stones, so yep. we might have to find more stones. Yay! You wanted a d6, just Oh, a d4, okay. That's a four. Sweet. A critical success on the d4! Sweet. We are gonna use roll 20 tonight. Hey! Yay! Hey. Oh. So, let's take a five-minute break. 
and we will be right back. How about that? Everybody get a stretch Yay, and a water, good. and we will return. Oh, that's great.
everybody, welcome back to Three Flings. We are playing When Luck Runs Out by Jackie Young. And ho boy has it run out. It I sure hope Jackie has. watches this. I really hope Jackie gets a chance to watch this. Can't believe Jackie manifested a dice curse on us tonight. Honestly though, kind of thematically appropriate and I like and by, it. By us, it's I mean extremely me. appropriate. Jackie, uh, where's the respect for your project manager? <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's like, this is what you get for having the word count go down. No, it went up! <laughs> this is what you get! The room uh -huh. spins around you, and for the first time ever on this stream, actually uh -huh. for the first time ever on this channel, we enter roll 20. <laughs> Yo! Because I could not think of another yeah. way to make this happen. Uh, we're not sponsored, but roll 20, if you want to sponsor us for future seasons of this show, channel email first, us. Uh, yeah. Email so, us. <laughs> you find yourself in this circular room and at the okay. far wall is a four by four grid of tiles shaped Ooh. like playing cards. They are placed as you see before you. Mm -hmm. You may take an action to flip over a card or push it. I but would love to. You may only Just, flip did you adjust one the cap card at a time. What? You, did you want to adjust the captures so that chat can't see your Rule 20 chat? Uh, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, we're flipping over cards? You, uh, let's roll initiative so we can go in order. Sure, sure. Yay! Alright. What, what a wild ride time. <laughs> uh, What'd you do? How'd you guess do? You roll, guess you rolled a one on initiative again. Oh, oh my no! God. <laughs> you are so lucky that uh, I'm not counting those for bad luck rolls. So, mm -hmm. so Shy gets a two. Adara got a twenty-two. Yeah. Cool. And Ophelia, what about you? I'll split the difference. I got a fourteen. Okay. And just gonna see. Imagine if I would have gotten like a twelve. That would have been perfect. All right. Uh... So, Adara, you see these cards, and you can move any one of them. You just walk up to it and hit flip. I assume there's more to it than that, so can I try and investigate to see if there's, like, an indication for uh, either what the goal is, or if there's a difference on some of the cards, or if they all seem the same, or some more recently bothered than others? Oh, is this is this a thing where we have to like flip over cards and match stuff? It sure is like that. It's, yeah, give it's me an that investigation game. check, Adara. Sure. Yeah, I. Yeah, I. Um, I play this game with my niece all the time. Eleven. I rolled a two. Okay. Oh, you rolled a two. I did. You want to <laughs> roll me another d twenty? <laughs> my God. <laughs> Five. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to say that, uh, you're a little bit dazed by this and you can only take an action or a bonus action or a reaction on your first, on your next turn. Ooh. Not this one, but on your next one. Uh, looking around, though, you get the vibe that um, there are spots above all these cards that you can flip them and lock them in. It does look like they are supposed to be locked in a way. Um. I'll let the group know that. Um, then also just be like, I'm also kind of feeling woozy. I don't know if that's related. Uh, I don't smell or feel anything, but I'll keep that in mind, just in case. Dick. Good day. day. Alright, I guess that's my turn. Uh, you can flip a card so if you just want. Like, oh, like, let sure. me know if the feeling persists. I'll flip a card, I'll move here, and I'll flip this one. Okay. You need me to do it? Oh, you got it. Oh, uh, I don't know how to flip I it. I got it. 
This, oh, uh, what? you can see my hideous uh, images for the most part for the things I couldn't find. It depicts darkness. Oh, okay. Oh. I, mean, I was just like, I'm not sure this. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know if this one exported correctly. Shy, it's your <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm going to move over here mm -hmm. and flip this one. Oop, and they both go back. Okay, so that one was water. It was actually next to darkness. a living lightning bolt. Ooh, oh, cool. cool. Very cool. Thanks. Kind of looked like a, a wave. Yeah. That one, I can actually show you. Uh, Ophelia, you're up. Yay! Uh, let's see. Uh, can I move myself? Will it let me? Yes, it will. You should be okay. okay. Uh, did I move for you? My things? Oh, sure. So I moved it on my yeah. screen. I don't know if it... Yeah, then it's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, uh, I'm taking uh, this whole situation. Cool. Oof. I flipped the wrong one. Cool. Which... That I can't tell is... what that is. Is that a, ter is that a Tortuga or something? It is. Some type of hydra. Oh, it's a hydra. Looks green. Yes, I, I, I love hydras. It's a, a hydra. So cool I forgot to bring out, which is good to know. So we each got different ones, which means uh, we should be have really good chances of getting matches sometime. Yeah. Uh, Adara, uh, is, you are up again. Is, there, is the card that I'm next to still flipped? Huh? Is the card that I'm next to still flipped? Uh, yeah. It locks okay, cool. into place. Yeah, because they, yeah, they only unflip when you, like, you flip over one, and then you flip over its match, and then they stay. Probably. That's what I thought. Okay, um, I just wanted to I'm ask. I'm a little worried they make the thing happen, and we have to fight a Hydra, but I guess we'll find out. Oh. Ah, you know what? We'll find out. Hmm. Nothing can be worse than accidentally locking yourself out of your own home, so we'll figure it out. That's true. Um, anyway, I guess, uh, I'll move over here and flip okay. this one. Cool. Oh, icicles. So that is an ice storm. Ooh, funny. Cool. And then it is Shy's turn. Okay, moving up here and going to flip this one. Okay. Ice storm. Ooh, icicles. Yeah, I know where that is. Oh man. Yay! Yeah. Now we gotta Alright Ophelia, you can come flip this one again because <laughs> I did it wrong. It's gonna be I'm gonna come and help. What if I just like pick the wrong one? Oh my god. You going for it? There you go. Alright, sweet. Yeah. And let's find out what happens. Everybody give me a dexterity saving throw. DC eight two. Oh. Is As this against magic? Room fills with ice. Yep, I called it. Uh, is this against magic? Yes, it is. I was gonna say, I don't think the room is filling with ice naturally. <laughs> Just uh, checking. Dexterity? Yep. 24. Uh, yep. 14. Okay, I heard of 14. What else do we have? Uh, I got in 18. Okay. 24. All right. So, oh, I can just roll it there. So, um, and you can all see that. Everybody can see that. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. So, you, uh, fail, take all of that damage, uh, and on a success, you take half. The DC was 15. Oh, no, it was uh, 18. It was 18. Just kidding. Okay. So, okay. 45 total, half? Let's remove Great. that one. Yes. Oh, 45. So it's it's right. no longer forty five because Jess hid one. It is thirty two now. Yeah. No twenty. Yeah, thirty two. Yeah. Thirty two. Yeah. And then have that. Okay, sixteen. Have to sixteen. Halved again because I resist cold. Yeah. Not all of us are you, Adara. <laughs> and then the cold goes away. It's not cold in here anymore. Oh, JK, oh that's okay. difficult Never to rain. Bothered. Still difficult to rain. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, did it clear out a uh, Adara's sinuses for a minute there? <laughs> 
Did it help with the help with the whole thing going on there? <laughs> I don't know. Oops. And then it's Shy's turn. Wait, did we skip someone? No, Ophelia went down. No, because I just went. No, it it went. Then it's my turn. Nope. Yeah, I was I was like because Shy shipped uh, flipped over the ice and then Ophelia oh, yeah, flipped yeah, over yeah. the next. Oh ice. yeah, okay. I right. was I thought Adara I had wrote it down ice. as Ophelia Adara Shy. Uh, no. Oh whip. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna scoot on down to this one. Go ahead. And I messed it up in my head. That one. Skadooch. Uh, I'm gonna throw out there that maybe we try and match a door. Okay, we know where the other Hydra is, but we might not want to manifest a Hydra. Throwing that out there. You know what I would like to manifest? Not that. Better yeah. vibes. <laughs> so, uh, nobody flip over this one. <laughs> okay, well, we, we know where it is. I mean, if we have to flip over, we know where it is. Yes. Yeah. I'm wondering if this is going to be the case, though, where if there's actually going to be a door, or if we're going to have to just get every single thing to match. We might have to get every single thing to match, but I'd rather check and see if we can find something that looks like a door before we commit to fighting everything. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Fair. I'm just saying, we can't necessarily assume that we're gonna find a door and then get out of here scot-free. Fair enough. In that case, I guess it gets Shy's turn. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just switch you on what I've written for my initiative. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, I'm moving up here and flipping this one. Find where I put my thing. Okay. Ah! Ooh. What oh we my got? god, why are you like this, Roll20? Roll 20, if you want to sponsor us, email us. Leave one to Gmail. Flip card. <laughs> what? That is, is. Is that a. What the fuck? Oh, I know what that is. I just can't think of what the name is. And then that and the Hydra both vanish. There you yes, go. What just, was the that? I got the other one. Oh, thank you. So I'm like, yep. it's giving me problems. I'll show you in a second. Yep. What, I, what's I, it called? A I know fire what. Fire Giant Dreadnought. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's another one we probably don't want to match up uh, quite yet. Okay, and then we'll get the Hydra mm -hmm. before we do that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Cool. All and right. Ophelia. Ophelia. Okay, I guess I'm just going instead of a door now. Fun. Uh, I'm gonna... I mean, it's your turn. Should I, I just already... went? It's your turn. Yeah, yeah. Also, I already did this one. It's darkness. No, I'm just no, because I thought it was Adara than me than Shy. So if Shy just went, it goes to the top of the order again. I and said then it's I was Adara. switching you both because you. Oh, okay, that's what I assumed. So that's why I was like, we're just switching now. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to this this boy here. That oh, is a glowstone. Oh, oh fun! We that's that. what we want. <laughs> okay. For a second, right. I thought it was like a slime, like a weirdly shaped slime. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fun. Alright, so now it's turn. See, I was right. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll keep being systematic and I'll hit this one. Cool. I don't. How are you flipping these? Uh, right click it, and then it'll give you options for the cards, uh, which okay. are take, flip, and remove. Got okay. it. Okay. Um, Alright, so that one's fire or some shit, so we don't want that one. Right. Earth, and sure fire, was baby. fire. So, my turn now? Uh, yes. I'm Whoa. going to flip this one. That is okay, darkness. Okay, so this is darkness. And now it's okay. Uh, it's turn. Okay, I'm uh, I'm just going to flip this again because I really don't want to just walk around in the dark right now. So. <laughs> I mean, we know Whoa. where the other. Whoa, we know my God, where the other did darkness. you delete it? Like, this one's. I oh, did no. an accident. Oh, no. Well, I mean, cool. we know what it is. And, I know and what it is, yeah. So, yeah. It's a weird... We just I can gotta remember back. that it's flipped now. I can yeah. bring it back. Go um, back! Ink, are you sure you want to flip that one again? Because we know where the other darkness is, so we won't make a match. That's what I'm saying. That's the point. I'd rather not walk around in the dark if we can help it. Yeah, so we won't, because we know where the other darkness is. Okay. So... If... Yeah, if I, you flip... I mean, your life. No, because if you flip over both of the things and they match, that's what comes out of it. So yeah, I don't but, we know where, the, but we know, but we know, we know where, where the, the other darkness, darkness is. is. Oh, way. that's so fair. As as that's fair. Yeah, as long as you don't flip that one, then we're fine. Okay. I guess, assuming so there's only, you, want you know, to pairs. Flip, uh, 
this one here. Oops. Do you want to? I'll just the do the one, one to the left of it if yeah. it makes it easier. Let's not well, we remove know... the coat. Let's not remove we the coat this time. We know what that one was because oh, yeah. okay. 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 I loaded it earlier. That's all good. That's fine. It makes sense because I also just don't have a good memory. I'm not gonna. It's okay. okay. I'm not gonna act like I even have a strategy for this because I genuinely don't have a good memory. I'm really bad at memory no too. Adara, you're up. All right, I'll go grab the last one on uh, this row that we haven't done yet. Um, right click, flip card. Glowstone. Oh, oh, there it is. Click. Yay. <laughs> cool. And, and then uh, my turn. I'm going to flip this card. <gasps> Woo! Nice. And. Wow, oh, we did it. You did it. And. Uh, Everything locks into place, and a glowstone is there. You Ooh. can continue playing if you would like, but uh, you do not have to. You have I the glowstone. I kind of want to see what else is available, if there's, like, other stuff that might be good for us. There's you only five I mean? left. We haven't run into anything else that's good so far. <laughs> You know, listen, you never know. We can check. Sure. Yeah, like, it's not gonna... Like, if we yeah. check and we purposely don't match them, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. All right. Okay, so that's the other That's the other living lightning bolt. Yep. Ta-da! And a dark. Oh. Sure. Flip. There's the other dreadnought. And they both go back. I'm shy. Okay, I'm gonna flip yeah. this one. Okay, there's the fire. Hey, okay, and then. Oot. Oh, that's... is that a treant? That's a treant. Okay, oh, so that's cool. what the last one will be. Yeah, because that's so new. We do... So that's what yeah. this one is. So we do not want to flip that. Okay, so then we're good. We're good. We'll just uh, grab the stone and exit. Sweet. Yep. And. Roll, uh... Anybody who wants to, roll me, uh, d6. Who did, it the, it. who did it the first time? Yeah, we'll just go back and on our set bonus. Yeah, I was... Listen, I don't know Jackie well enough to assume that Jackie would be like, everything is a trap here, so I was like, I might as well look in case there's something it, that Jackie just hit in I here. Think, I, I think it's uh, kind of interesting that it's a memory game where most memory games you want to match things, uh -huh. and this one is just like, you definitely don't. You only want to match one of them. The other ones, <laughs> nah, man. Anyway, two. Two. All right. The room spins around you. And you stand in an enormous chamber filled Ooh. knee deep with copper coins. At the Ooh. far end of the wall is a mosaic of a dragon. And where its left eye should be is a coin-shaped opening, but blocking your path, snoring, shifting the coins with its every inhale and smoky exhale is a curled up, sleeping copper dragon. Oh. Vote agree, I missed you, baby. <laughs> and that's where we're gonna end things tonight. Aww. Oh boy. <laughs> so, thank you so much. For joining us everybody uh stick around because we are gonna do a raid but first we want to find out where you can meet all of these wonderful people starting with uh adara who had a tough time tonight who are you oh, where can we find you uh i'm going to be on the internet and you can find me mostly on twitter where i post illustrations because i'm an illustrator uh there's also some uncaged goddesses retrospectives that in my opinion are kind of interesting if you want to check those out um, but yeah, find me on Twitter, send me well wishes, because I have a cold, <laughs> and it's rough. That's all. Manifest better vibes for Gwen. Manifest time. throat health for, for me, please. Also, just better rules. <laughs> Ophelia, who are you? Where can we find you? Hi, my name is Ink. You can find me on Twitter, at These Dead Pens, which will lead you to my other stuff, uh, because I'm a writer and an illustrator, and I meme and scream on Twitter. Uh, you will find links to my other artwork, some of the writing I did, uh, including some of the art that I did for Uncaged, as well as information about commissions for me and other things going on that I'm involved with. Otherwise, 
Thank you for joining us. And lastly, but not leastly, Shai, who are you? Where can we find you? Hi, I'm Zan. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram under Pellwit Rabbit. And also I have an online store which has some very neat prints and things because I'm also an illustrator and uh, just came out with some pins that might have some familiar phrases if you watch the show a lot. <laughs> Yay. And I'm Jess. Uh, you know where to find me. Uh, you find me on Twitter because that's where I am. And uh, you can also find me on Phoenix Wiki's channel every Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern for the next little bit because I am playing uh, Yelling Mykonid, the evil tabaxi druid school dropout, go back to high school. And yeah, we're helping out this cool dude named Vecna for a little bit. And we are now gonna go shoot our behind the scenes Patreon video. Support us on Patreon to get access to all, you can find me on Twitter attacking Queen Elizabeth II. Same. Yeah, and all Same. colonizers really. Um, but hey, more relevant right now, we're gonna go shoot our behind the scenes Patreon video. Support us on Patreon to get access to our Discord, to behind the scenes stuff, to have us reskin an NPC uh, to your specifications. And maybe we'll do it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we're going to go do that. And also we're going to go raid TTRPG because usually we try that and miss it, but I've checked and they're still playing. So let's go do that. Uh, we love you so much and are so happy that you join us whenever you do, because, um, you know, it's tough out there and we like that you're here with us. Uh, so mm. yeah, have a great night, everybody. And, uh, or day, have a great, whatever it is. And we'll see you next week for part two of this. Bye. Bye.